Hey guys, thank you for checking out this episode. We'd love your support by heading to patreon.com forward slash freshly grounded. It really does make a difference in helping us continue making this content. And if not, no stress. Enjoy. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sorry guys, we're a bit late. Apologies. Um, but that's how live streams work. Everyone's always late for a live stream, aren't they? Uh, let me just uh, get everything going uh, on this stream. How is everybody? You're welcome to use the live chat. I will introduce you to our friends in a second. Um, but first, we have to do the only thing that makes sense, which is to play the intro. So let's get that intro, huh? Sure, let's do it. Mm, it's not working. There we go. And welcome to a freshly grounded, the brand new podcast. Well, it's not exactly brand new anymore, is it? Welcome to freshly grounded, the podcast that's better created by best friends Faisal and Sam huh? I welcome I said welcome to freshly grounded after that bit created by and after that bit best friends Faisal and Sam really and you saw my webcam for a second uh we're live alhamdulillah right fine Whew. How is everyone doing? We've got some people in the building. We've got Only Khan. Assalamu alaikum, Only. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. We've got Kareem Athakriti. Assalamu alaikum, Kareem. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. And I am saying that quickly, aren't I? Athakriti. Yeah, that works. <laughs> it would do. Uh, guys, listen. This is our. This is like, as you can see, a bit of a um, socially distanced podcast. So I'm trying to get used to the buttons here, but I'm here at number two. Should be number one, but I'm on number two. I've just got to remember that now. Um, Oddly's there, number one, and as you can see, he's very far from me. Hey, man, <laughs> you very how's good? it going? <laughs> you right over there, uh, and Cream is all the ways <laughs> on the other side of the studio on the uh, open up slash made halal set. How you doing, Cream? I'm good, bro. Alhamdulillah. Very good. They Alhamdulillah. might say, Cream, can you get your mic closer to your uh, yes mouth? Um, Alhamdulillah, right, guys, we're here. Uh, this is, like I said, this is probably like the last time we're going to do it, uh, a first and last, like a live stream, oh no, sorry, uh, socially distanced episode, because it has been a madness to set up, because we've got like all these separate cameras and all these wires, if you could see the boom right now, it's crazy. Um, oh no, some people are saying it's frozen, is it frozen? Or is it fine? Yeah, is it just the like, internet connection? No, I don't, I'm not sure, I can't really... Uh, AA, it seems to be fine, I think, which means perhaps... Perhaps. It seems to be frozen. It's frozen, is it? Yeah. Somehow. Yeah, yeah, it was right. Really? Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. But the, the, the video oh, is fine. No, Kamran is, is saying, Kamran is saying it's fine. Someone is saying it's fine. And I'm going to believe them over the person who's standing right in front of me. Mm. <laughs> Sitting right in front of me. Mr. Kareem Athakriti. <laughs> um, all right, so basically we can start now. So yeah, uh, last time we did an episode with us three, it was. Does anybody remember the episode number? Two oh eight. Cream. No. Two oh eight. Bro, you know it's two ten right now. So you're saying two episodes. No, one nine three. One nine three. Yeah. <laughs> I don't huh? know what number it was. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we did an episode <laughs> together recently, and and people really enjoyed it, I think. And so we're gonna do that uh, again. I think it's past two, 200 long time. <laughs> right, Relaxing right? sound says it, it's Gucci. <coughs> uh, do you know what? Only your cat, your. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Fine. Let's just all relax. Drink a nice Zaha Grill. <laughs> uh, Zaha Grill Mango Lassi. Bought to you. This Mango Lassi has been bought to you by Zaha Grill. From where? Zaha Grill. This is Zaha, Zaha. Grill. Where's that? This is Zaha Grill uh, uh, Lassi. <laughs> and we, if you can see, we've all got. Zaha Grill, Zaha Grill things with us. <laughs> and only has a Zaha Grill, let's see, and a Zaha Grill uh, lemonade. No, it's a lighter cooler, bro. Elijah it's a Zaha Grill lighter cooler. One of, us, one of us may own 
a company called Zaha Grill in, it's in his studio. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Alhamdulillah. Right, this is good. I can bob, man. Um, how you doing, Lonely Bro? You good? Alhamdulillah, I'm very well. Yeah. I'm excited, Akhi. We, ha- m- me, you, and Karim have not really managed to chill for a long time, have we? Yeah, I was thinking about this. Yeah, mm-hmm. Shall I tell you what I was thinking about uh, earlier. I was thinking I was looking forward to this live stream. And the thought that came from my mind is that uh, all of us, us three, are our friends and um, are probably like the closest, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know about Karim because he doesn't really speak, but um, <laughs> I'm joking. No, he likes you. He likes but you. <laughs> I, like, if someone was like, who are your closest friends? Karim and Onli. It's probably okay. Onli and Karim. Alphabetically, it's correct also in terms of time, right? I'd say Onli and Karim. And I think Onli, you would say Onli, uh, Faisal and Karim, right? Right? No. Right? <laughs> For sure, no. Right. And Kareem, do you want to just complete that? <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> yeah, you guys are right. <laughs> um, but what's interesting is we all, even though like we're all like the closest with each other, like we're the closest three, I feel like we all have individual relationships with each other. We're yeah. not really friends as a three. Do you know what I mean? Mm. That's odd, isn't it? It is odd, isn't it? But it's, it's good though. It's good, yeah. yeah. It's good. It's very good. I think it's good. <laughs> Like I have a really, I have a great friendship with Ronley and I have a great friendship with Kareem mm. separately. And you guys have that separately and you yeah. guys yeah. have that separately. It's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Together, we're horrid. <laughs> <laughs> this is what the people are getting. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> now I was speaking about that earlier, man. I think Hon- it's good, man. <clears throat> Honestly, I think it's very good. So here. That's it. I thought right, about, I thought about it recently as well. My, my, two, my two friends who have zero conversation right now, need to, you, you guys need to carry this for a second while I update all the social media stuff that we're live. So, wow. um, only I'm going to hand it over to you. How's Zaha Girl doing in this <laughs> pandemic? <laughs> Zaha Girl is, is doing fine, alhamdulillah. We've um, <coughs> closed for a little bit now, as you know, as the viewers maybe don't, do not know yet, until the 4th of January, because the area we're in is completely completely quiet you didn't you didn't um, finish telling me yesterday because I was asking mm. why did you have to close you didn't have to close did you it, it made more business sense to that. close really yeah yeah because with um, takeaways and everything yeah but because that area is, is entirely offices 90% probably I would say is people working working late there's there's obviously uh, residents and stuff but because we we were open up until the 23rd and by the 24th was okay, tw- tw- by the 23rd... You noticed it? Yeah. Definitely, really? Definitely. Definitely. Mm. definitely. So, so your takeaways are still being ordered by working people? I mean, I don't know where they go. Um, but a lot of the times we have orders where it's like, they're, f- they're quite big and it's evident that they're for mm. like a company. You know? Um, but yeah, it just made more sense. And it gives us time to like renovate some stuff and plan some other things. And inshallah. Are you renovating? <laughs> Trying to come? Yeah, where are you running? Nah, you don't come. <laughs> you don't no, come. I was, I was there a month ago. No, subhanAllah. No, uh, Faisal, okay. um, we're struggling. Well, um, you guys can't hold one conversation while I'm just well, adding things to the story. This is not going to be losing an audience we're here. We're not the t- 2019 best podcast award winners. Yeah, I know. I need to get a new one that because now it's 2000. It's, we're going mm. to 2021. I literally just want to tell my story that we're live. And you guys can't. Have you guys seen the... Um, did you, Akeem, did you see the uh, Light Upon Light conference uh, thing that... So, so for the audience listening, um, I had to go in. Uh, it, it, we vlogged it, so I'm sure you guys will see it in, in a vlog coming up. But uh, I had to go into Iman channel. So Kareem and I went in. to. I, I had to host a segment with Mufti Menk for the uh, Light Upon Light uh, winter conference, which is like live stream. And it went out. Is that what it was for? Was it did good? you know? Yeah, of course. Oh, you didn't know what we were going for? No, I, was in, I knew there was a video, but Just I didn't know what car. it was for. Yeah. We huh? sat in the car. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. That was allowed in. Yeah, it yeah, was allowed in. Yeah. And um, uh, basically, so we did, we did it, and it's, it's, it's out. Did you have you haven't seen it? No, no, no. It's not awkward, bro. Really? So basically, the way we filmed this like segment uh, was like I'm not gonna like give away, but it was like quite awkward because you can imagine like we're on green screens, not in front of an audience, and so it was very awkward. And there was this like really cheesy thing I had to do. I had to like knock, bro. <laughs> oh, bro. There was like so I get there, and they were like, oh, um, can you just shoot an advert? Uh, for us as well where basically you like knock on the screen as if like you're like hey guys and I was like no and like Kareem was looking at me like bro and so um, yeah I was, I was like yeah, of course and so um, I I like went up to the camera I was like 
it was like knock knock and then in the after effects they put like the knocking sound obviously and then i was like hey guys you know have you heard about this discount that one, yeah, the, yeah, the the that. One. yeah i think so that was the best one it was a good one but it was like was it uh, what about iman academy fine yeah was it good is it out yeah yeah, yeah the live stream is out it was interesting it was is just it, like the ad wasn't out yet though is it um the ad yes yeah, out it's all out on the stream yeah. you didn't send it to me yeah uh, guys, listen. I, so basically, remember Yusuf was saying that we should have like sound effects for these for this podcast. Yeah, I got. I managed to get two sound effects going here from um, from uh, from other podcasts. I want to get loads, but I wanted to get people's opinion as to like what sound effects, like what what sound bites we should take out of episodes and put them on uh, freshly grounded. And so the two that I have so far, I've got my favorite, which is Sam's one. I don't know if it will play. It was, it was a laugh, mate. It was a laugh, mate. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? That's so good. That. <laughs> what did he that say? Was, it was a laugh, mate. Oh, <laughs> that's I'm going. It was a laugh, mate. It was a laugh, mate. Uh, and then I've got another one from a really old episode. Yeah, a bit of a lad. Did you hear? <clears throat> no, I didn't. Go again. Did Repeat you hear? it. Yeah, a bit of a lad. A bit of a lad. Bit it's of a lad. me going. Yeah, I'm a bit of a lad. <laughs> Let me turn it off. I don't know if they could hear that one. Yeah, a bit of a lad. <laughs> yes. So I've got. It needs to be louder, man. Yeah, I'm a bit of a lad. And it was a laugh, mate. It was a laugh, mate. That is so funny. How do you play those? Uh, you, I mean, there's like a soundboard on here. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway, listen. Anybody who, um, anybody who, um, a, a, I've got an idea. Okay, it's a bit cheeky, <laughs> but anybody who who supports the stream today. <laughs> <laughs> Get to free Zamu. <laughs> Anybody who supports this stream today with a super chat, yeah. Every time the super chat plays, they're gonna hear. <laughs> it's it's a laugh, mate. It's <laughs> a laugh, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to hear Sam saying it was a laugh, mate, it was a laugh, it's mate. It was a laugh, mate. It was a laugh, mate. <laughs> it was a laugh, mate. <laughs> Uh, then um, we encourage and would very much so welcome uh, supporting this stream with a uh, a super chat. Um, and you can do that. I don't know. How, how does a super chat work, Cream? I've never done it. Um, have I done it? No, I haven't. Mm -hmm. No, I have. I've done a super chat before, you know. But it happened. You didn't do it, did you? No, I I, I did a super chat. I donated. Oh, oh, you donated. Oh, fine, yeah, fine, yeah. fine, fine, fine. Sorry. Well, I donated a super chat one, t one time, I think. How does it work? What um, is it? How does it work, Kareem? Do you know how it works? Um, kind of. I think basically you, I think it's, it's on the chat thing. You are given the option to pay X amount of money and depending on how much you pay, your comment, because obviously the live Fine. chat just keeps scrolling. And so whatever you say may not be seen. So by paying, your comment is pinned at the top for X amount of time. Yeah, so if the chat okay. is popping, yeah, if the chat is popping, then they're going to hear, it's, it was a laugh, mate. It was a, oh, they might hear, I'm a little bit of a lad. But I'm going to be upset about how quiet that was. Mm. It could be quitted. Oh, we get, so there we go. Um, all right, listen to this comment. This is actually a good topic for us to talk about because we noticed this. So someone commented saying, uh, Naman Ali Khan plays your game after, er er after every Arabic lesson with his students. No mm. way, really? Yeah. Did you know that? I did not know that. Yeah, it's really interesting because, um, so we didn't know this, by the way. Um, but ba but basically the way we found out because we're not subscribed to his um, um, uh, uh, Arabic Arabic school right and um, so no not like that <laughs> no not like that it's fine keep going I thought I heard you breathe <laughs> no, no 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 don't breathe no, 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 no. breathe <laughs> sorry <laughs> so we're not subscribed um, but, um Oh, but I sound so bad, bro. I sound like I'm literally like going like, all right, let me start again. Bro. Oh. Bro, it's not even live. Just cut it what's out. What's up? Huh? I'm not understanding what's No, because I'm like, oh, we're not subscribed. Like, I'm, like, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to like, like, um, trying to save himself, but he yeah. can't. Fine. We, we didn't see it because obviously we, we, we're just not subscribed to his Arabic class, no. but someone um, both DM'd us and emailed us. Really? Uh, bless them, yeah. That's what I mean. Someone emailed us as well, yeah. Yeah, and basically... Um, Is uh, it online? But basically, he played it um, after his Arabic class, apparently. So the reason I'm saying we're not subscribed is because it was only for his subscribed 
um, yeah, 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 thing. That's yeah, the point yeah. of it. It's not because, yeah. So because of the people who subscribe to his uh, Arabic class, they all started messaging us. And Kareem came in in the morning and he saw like an influx of orders. So Kareem deals with e-commerce, um, so it makes sense. Uh, he saw an influx of orders from America. Yeah, Ajib. And so Kareem was like, what did Faisal do? So he starts checking social media to see if I've like posted some kind of, I guess, offer or something, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, and then someone DM'd us and said that Numan Ali Khan played it after his uh, thing, after his Arabic class. And then it like it, it, it like order shop. So as we go and then, and then he like looked back and then he saw that we did actually have an order for. No, a, I didn't look back. Oh, you didn't. Whilst I was fulfilling those orders, I saw the name what Numan name? Khan. Really? And it was going towards Texas. Yeah, you are. And he just, he just, I just had, I was like, mm, maybe, maybe, yeah, just maybe. Numan Berdik, a classic. Yeah, so he um, so because that, so someone just commented saying that he plays our game after every Arabic lesson. Yeah, which is really sounds that's cool, isn't it? That's amazing. Yeah, I think I've only played it like two times, two times, three times. And do you have a copy? Do you have a copy? No, no, I don't have a copy. You don't have a copy. No, I need to get one. <laughs> have you played it? At your house? Don't my house? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And the other time. Whilst you were sitting here, maybe. Yeah, whilst we were we'll sitting here. I think that was it, right? You know me. That was it. What's your favourite question in the game? Okay, what was my favourite question in the game? You're putting me on the spot here, okay. I was actually reading something last night when I was here. Really? Yeah. I don't know, I haven't, I haven't flicked through all of them like that to, know, to have a favourite, I guess. Do you have a favourite? Uh, my favourite question in the game, I do have a favourite. It's... Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's um, think about someone that you recently had a disagreement with, mm. and name uh, three th uh, without telling me who they are. Tell me three. Uh, that was the question I had to answer. About them. Oh yeah. Yeah. Why don't you tell us who you had a disagreement with then? Because <laughs> it wasn't a disagreement. It was just like one-sided feeling. Yeah, I think the beautiful thing is that it was actually hard to think about yeah. someone that um, that sh that you had a disagreement with, isn't mm. it? Which is nice. Mm. Can I don't have a favorite question. Favorite question? You don't have one. No, I think Pick I think one. at different times, different questions hit differently. Okay. Mm, mm, I get where sure. where Faze is coming from though. It's coming from, in general, objectively. Mm. That's a good question. Like the objective that the objective that. Um, it's a beautiful one. Yeah, like the 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 objective that that what objectives? <laughs> what's the on, what's, How do you finish that sentence? No, the objective of that question is is is. is the objective that it nice. achieves. Yeah. Yeah. The objective that that question is meant to achieve is that you think, oh, that person's actually quite nice. Like, let me go <laughs> ask them for mm. forgiveness. Isn't it? Yeah, it, makes yeah, you, yeah. it makes you reflect, doesn't it? That's nice. Actually, pick a, pick a favorite question for this moment, this time. Whatever you're going through. Oh, you think I know them like that? If I had my laptop. Hey, you here, made I them. No, but. <laughs> you got the iPad. Though. It's not like that. It's not my iPad. It's, it's only Khan's iPad. It's not actually. Do you want to talk about your iPad? Why do I want to talk about my iPad? Uh, do you have any reflections? Any something you want to share about your iPad? Mm. <coughs> I don't know what, li what lines you're thinking of, of. Nothing. Nothing at all. I'm just putting on you. Ajib, man. It was a gift, Akhi. May Allah bless the person who gifted it to me. It was, my, it was my brother. I really wanted one as well. For studying. Okay, look. There you go. <laughs> No, nah, but I'm just trying to sort all, the, all this kind of stuff I'll tell, out. I'll tell you what's really awkward, Akhi. What? I have to like break my neck to look at you and then at Karim. And I d then I don't know where to look. That's social distancing, bro. Nah. Okay. I'm trying to... Socially distancing. It's very hard to manage the podcast and order food. <laughs> Basically, la <laughs> last time we did this podcast, people, some people were upset with us ordering food. And so what are we doing? We're ordering food again because this we are literally three friends having a chat and we need some food. But at the same time, this is work. <laughs> uh, all right, let's read some comments, Bob. Um, uh, Melissa, Di Melissa Dietrich... Or di Dietrich says, uh, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for putting so much effort into this project. That uh, just as entertain, just that's just as entertaining as it is full of baraka. Salam from Germany. Allah bless her. <coughs> um, AE says over 50k subs. 
الحمد لله صوره ياسر يا اخي المبارك اونلي ذيس اللون بارك مانجو ثينك از لافلي از كوايت ثيك وات از ان هير هي از ميد فروم جريك يوغورت كان يو جيف اس ذا ريسيبي بليز يو نو اي دونت هاف ات الحمد لله ات ميكس ماي لايف فيري ايزي اسبيشلي ذا كاركتر اي واز ثينكينج اباوت ذيس ذا اذر داي I'm ha- I'm happy I don't have the recipe because <laughs> so many people ask for it. Really? Yeah. So you guys will be made it, making it? <coughs> no, but people still ask for it. Someone came in um, on the last day that we were open from quite far, and they came just for the chai. But we were like, we haven't, we didn't, we didn't have it that day. But Alhamdulillah, makes my life easier because then I can just be like, I'd, I'd love to give it to you. Just don't have it. Have you eaten, bro? Just don't have Has it. Have any of you guys eaten? Uh, I'm today. good. You're good. Yeah. yeah, I'm good. Have you eaten? I ate today, yeah. I'm comfortable. Yeah, you're hungry now. Like no, I'm comfortable. Okay. I'm very no, comfortable. I'm hungry as well. We're ordering a bit because <coughs> it's very hard to do all of the things at yeah, the same no, time. Fine. So I'm going to. Um, but there's hardly anything. There's like. Look, there's. um. There's Uber Eats. I'm oh, sorry. There's. Um, <laughs> I'm Uber Eats. Some There's a lit above a chicken cottage, pretty much. I swear we ordered chicken cottage last time we was on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, is it? Yeah, but chicken cottage always comes through, innit? Yeah, it's good too, man. It's not uh, bad. Now we can, n- we'll order later. So now we can say, for anybody watching late, can say the podcast actually starts 21 minutes in. <laughs> um, okay, so I was thinking about this thing earlier, right? So I can't remember what emotion it was I was, t- I was thinking about. Um, but I was thinking that you know, like how in Arabic things can be described by the um, the things can be described by its opposites, isn't it? So, like, say for example, um, to say if you want to say for example, someone um, y- if you say what is like um, someone who's intellectual, uh, you could say it's not someone who's not intellectual, kind of thing. Ah, oh, that doesn't make sense, does it? Like aqil and غير aqil. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, I think if I said that right. And so I was thinking to myself of other things. I was thinking that emotions, yeah. Could you say that all emotions are an emotion because they are the because by definition that means that they are not that that the person lacks the opposite emotion. So for example, yeah, could you say that happiness is defined by being by the fact that the person lacks sadness? Or could you be happy but not lack mm. sadness? Does that make sense? Yeah. See what you yeah. mean. See what you mean. Are they absolute opposites? Is what I would say. If they are, then yes, it's one or the other is black or white. Mm. If not, you can have both of them in different percentages, I guess. Mm. But I hear you. Yeah, you can be like 80% happy and 20% sad, you're saying? Mm, kind of thing. What do you think? Where did this come from? No, well, because it, because in one of the Arabic lessons, it was talking about what the, some of the ways to di- um, define uh, Arabic terms. And one of the ways is you could um, define it by saying what it's not. And another way is you can define it by giving synonyms. So like the synonym of a um, house, you could, for example, say Makan. Even Fine. though it's not exactly the exact synonym. Fine. So I was thinking, is that how? And then it led to another, it led to a, it led to a question that actually made, um, that, that, that carried on for this, but I can't remember the, the emotion. And I thought to myself, you know what? I'm going to write this down for later for when we're on the podcast, but I couldn't think of it. Um, Akhi, what ca- I think what Karim said is, is pretty accurate. I don't have any objections. Um, <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Karim, do you want to expand on it? <laughs> no, 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 I can't, I can't do that. I can't do it under pressure. Mm. Um, yeah, Faisal, come back to us. What are you doing? Come back to you about the um, the emotions thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to do it at the same you time. You lost me with the emotion, man. Okay, just leave your phone. Yeah. <laughs> just, just chill. Come back to us. I don't know. This is probably the last time we're doing this um, uh, distance thing because of, co- of COVID. What do you Cause mean? Because of tier four. Because now, because apparently they're going to release a lockdown after, um, after this. Mm. Is it? So we're going to go into a second lockdown. But third. this is a lockdown, third. basically, no? no? Yeah, third this lockdown. Is a, this is a lockdown, no? Mm. What's different about this and a lockdown? It's between tier three and lockdown. <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they just made it up, tier four. Ajib. Mm. The only difference between this and a um, lockdown is that the masjid can be open, I think. Like the uh, place of worship can be open. Yeah. Mm. 
Someone said um, they wanted to order the game for a while, but as they was about to do it this week, um, they got a message that we don't deliver to Sweden. Um, we do usually deliver to Sweden. We deliver internationally, but um, as the tier four thing kicked in and the whole new strain of coronavirus, um, Royal Mail, which is the which is what we use to ship our parcels, they're not doing um, many. They're not uh, delivering orders internationally to At many all. to many countries. So we just decided to close it down altogether because it's just going to be changing. And then someone's going to order and they're not going to receive it and this and that. So As in you, you shut off all international delivery? Yeah, for now. Really? Yeah, for now. For now. Subhanallah. That's it, man. Subhanallah. Has it affected you in any way because you have a restaurant? <coughs> uh, lockdown or the, no, the international the thing? Like the board has been closed. Nothing that comes to mind um, except the, I'm sure the prices of the, the, the supplies will, will be higher. But I, I, we haven't been ordering because we're closed for a bit. So is all of your stuff based in the uh, UK or you can't say? Uh, most of it is, yeah. Most and, of, most and of it is. And it will go higher. I, I Definitely the stuff that would come from like Spain and stuff yeah, fair w- enough. W- would definitely yeah. go higher. But I don't know. So I mean, since the start of lockdown, everything has gone up in price. Really? Yeah, a lot. That's what especially, especially like gloves because we have we use gloves for, for everything, right? But everyone's trying to get gloves for COVID. Yeah, everything. Everyone's trying to get gloves, and they went up really, man. I would say like uh, nearly two thousand percent. What? Two thousand percent is bro. Two thousand percent. Yeah, literally, per box. That's mad. No, that's crazy. Yeah. Very, so very expensive. So that means if something is how what's two thousand percent? Like let's say for example if it's two pound, it's two thousand pound. I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> is that correct? No, two thousand percent would be what, twenty times? Twenty times, yeah. Twenty times, yeah. Twenty times as much. So, so eighty so pounds. It's two pounds, it's eighty no, pounds. Sorry. Two times twenty is uh, <laughs> forty. Yeah. yeah. Forty pounds. Wow, from two to forty. Yeah. That's crazy. Maybe but you have maybe, to, maybe, you have li- to have maybe a little bit less than two thousand percent. Do you have to have gloves in a restaurant? Uh well in terms of regulation, no. Yeah. Oh yeah. you just but do we, it for but we do. Even if it costs you two thousand percent more you still No, do I mean we we normally have black gloves, right? And they're like the best ones that you can you can get. So we, we downgraded to blue gloves. Really? Yeah. For this period. We they're still very expensive. But we <coughs> we want to maintain that kind of Especially during these times, man. We, d- we don't want to hand be handling food and people are, you know. Because especially because they're used to us always having gloves on. We don't want to, in the time of everyone needs gloves, n- we don't have gloves. Even though we don't need them. Was there p- that, you know that beginning period in March when everything, like there's no masks and stuff, did you run out of gloves then? We luckily had a bit of a supply, like a, like a, like a backlog of it. Um, but yeah, after that, we had to be really careful. What do you think is going to become really expensive now with this border situation in the UK? Yeah, I'm not sure, man. I I, I was watching the video yesterday about from Boris uh, announcing it on that little video. He popped out like a big pile of. um, I don't know, man, because I don't know what the what the deal actually is. I don't. I think um, I heard that there's going to be more charges, but not necessarily more tax. Or I could be making this up though. Charges for what? I don't know. Maybe like people, um, lorries are gonna have to wait more. There's gonna be more wait, wait Fine. time and stuff like that. I Fine. think. I don't know, man. Basically, everything's gonna go up then. Shall I tell you what's gonna go up the most? <laughs> what? This can be a madness, bro. You know, like how Rishi Sunak has been giving away loads of pee. Yeah. Bro, one hundred percent, we're gonna be paying the price for that. Yeah. In it. Yeah, mm. for sure. Bro, it's gonna yeah. be peak. Imagine, sure. because if you think about it. You're talking about furlough from March till March now. Yeah. yeah. Then you're talking uh, all them government loans that people have to pay back in a year. But realistically, like so many people are not going to pay back in a year. Apparently, then the interest is like really small after that. So let's say, for example, it takes people 10 years, 20 years. Let's say people are going to go bankrupt or close their business. Do you know what mm. I mean? So there's them two. And then there's the grants that they gave. Yeah. And then there's the money that they wasted. Like they spent 10 million pounds on that NHS app. Mm. That mm. Not, never got produced, and then they ended up producing a different one or something, wow. and really? all these wow. things that they. I don't know that. 
something like that. Like they, they, they uh, why at the beginning they spent all of this money on this? But it doesn't. First of all, it doesn't cost ten million pounds to create an app. Mm. You know what I mean? So someone finesse them, or there's something yeah, going a lot, on. A lot of people made a lot of money with, with this COVID, yeah. man. A people made a lot of money, bro. And then they spent, they, bro, they spent so much money. So yeah. now, this has probably been the most expensive year for UK government, isn't it? Really, mm. like the amount of money they've spent. They've, they've basically funded so many salaries for a whole year, bro. So come like when furlough's finished and everything's back to normal. And then the vaccine stuff as well. It's gonna be yeah, they funded vaccine government. research. And then people getting vaccines. Bro, I don't know what they're going to do, but there's going to be some heavy tax. Hmm. There's going to be some heavy tax on something. And it's, it's going gonna to be, be like the people, it's going to be the people like who, who are having to graft that are going to be paying yeah. the heavy tax, not the rich people. Although they do charge like a quite a fat tax of rich people, isn't it? Questionable, man. They're, yeah. meant, they're, meant, they're meant to, but I was watching something earlier. Like 50% or something, if you earn over a certain amount of money. Yeah, I mean, you, th that's what they're meant to pay, but a lot of rich people don't pay it. Not to say that they avoid tax, but they, they have ways to, to pay less tax. I was watching something earlier about billionaires and stuff, and um, they just put it in offshore accounts and they don't have to pay tax. Well, have you heard what, what Apple do? I told you, in it? <coughs> yeah, I think What Apple do in Ireland? Have you heard about it? What's that? Basically, there's a Apple is the um, is like a really cash rich company. That's like a known fact, isn't it? Like yeah. people speak about how they've got loads of cash in the bank. Uh, as opposed to someone like, for example, Netflix, massive company, but I think still in debt. Yeah. And um, they were saying that one of the reasons that Apple has so much finance is because. Um, in Amer if you're a company based in America, you have to pay s like loads of, uh, uh, call it taxes in America. I'm not sure. There's different labels for different things that you have to pay. Yeah? But you've got to pay a lot of money for being a business in America. And then even if you set up shop in other countries, because you started in America and because you're American, you still got to be paying tax back home. Mm. And I think even if you're like an expat from America, which I don't think the UK does, I think if you're an expat from America, you have to pay you still have to pay money back to America, to the American government. Something like that, I'm not too sure, yeah. But the point is, is that you have to pay a lot of money. And so Apple would have had to do that, yeah. And the reason Apple also cash cash rich is because they set up um the they set up the pattern for, for one of their like um for one of their things in Ireland. Yeah. Mm. And so they get in a way of not paying that tax to America because it's an Irish that that company is an Irish company. And what that company does is they lease the patents over to Apple in America. And so because Apple in America technically are, are paying money, like they're paying a monthly retainer for that lease, um, <coughs> they're, not paying that, they're not paying that tax. So then what happens is um, the EU, I think, or someone, but I think maybe the EU, said to Ireland... Um, uh, by the way, Ireland don't didn't uh, for, from, from when I watched this documentary thing, yeah. So it might have changed now. Ireland don't charge Amer um, Apple any tax, and so the EU must have said to Ireland or someone said to Ireland. I'm, I think it was the EU. You guys got to start charging Apple tax, otherwise, like it's going to be a problem. And Ireland said, "There's no chance." Apple can be here tax free all they want because they provide so many jobs for mm. Irish people. It's That's funny. massive. Apple got a mad deal, bro. And Ireland are happy. I feel this money business does it not scare you. What do you mean? As in this massive wealth. When I was watching that program, the billionaires one, it was very scary, man. It was very scary in, in the sense that these people have like control of such humongous amounts of wealth and obviously they have to be questioned about it. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, if they're not believing, but... But it's very scary, man. <coughs> because so many people are, have, have this much wealth, they can do so much with it, um, but they choose not to. Right? It's, it's, very, it's like a very greedy thing. Mm. They, have more, they have more money to... More, mo more than enough money to live off for their next generation, next several generations of their, their families, but it's all about becoming the wealthiest in this life. Make sense or not? Yeah, we were speaking about this thing in the office about um, the like the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. One of oh, like so a, a, a hadith that explained like 
that there's going to come a time that everyone has to go through, go over this like steep thing, right? Like a mountain or something. And those who are heavenly laden, the ones who have like um, a lot of belongings, a lot of things, they're mm. going to struggle struggle to go up it because they've got so many things that's going to be pulling them down. So it's going to be harder. And it was talking about don't don't just try and accumulate loads of things in the dunya. That is scary, I think, man. But it's like our it's like our nafs is to just carry loads yeah. of things, to just buy loads of things in it. Like if, if you had like all the money, bro, as much charity and stuff you would give, if you thought, oh, I want something, the mm. filter is that like, I want something, so I'm gonna get it. Yeah. Mm. That's why that's why massive wealth is very scary. Yeah. Isn't it? How big is massive though? How big is too big? I mean, uh, right now I'm thinking about very big because of, of, of the of the of the small segment I watched. Because they were just billionaires. They just, they had multiple billions. Those people. If you had even hun- even like hundreds of billions, which is massive. <laughs> hundreds of billions. Millions, millions, millions. Oh. Even hundreds of millions, is massive. If you had access to, um, if you could get like give yourself one luxury. Mm. I've asked this question to so many people. We should put it in the game. It's like nice, like hard question for the game. It's a good question. <laughs> if you could give yourself one luxury, what would it be? I know my answer. Me, 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 me. Any, any, <laughs> any luxury. Uh, any a material thing? Yeah, like or, a material or an thing. access? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, le- so let's say, for example, there's one thing that you could spend unlimited money. So, it's, so dunya, dunya, yeah. Because if you say akhira, bruv, like, mm. obviously, but dunya related, <clears throat> if there's one luxury you could just like cake out on, like it would, what would it be? Man, that's tough, actually, because the, the first thing that comes to mind um, is Hajj every year, but that's uh, relatively related to Akhara, right? But the reason I say that is because it's very expensive every year to go to. Um, but if you ask me for like a material, what you say Hajj every year? Yeah, it has to be, do- bro, bro. But it's financial. He's coming. He's coming yeah. with that pious, fully bro, dunya you want Fully, bro. <coughs> Man, no guilt. Yeah, no guilt, bro. You're allowed to say it, bro. Don't worry. It's only gonna be potentially what. Hundred fifty thousand monthly download item, right? <laughs> like one, of, like one off item. Um, yeah, yeah. No, not one off. All right, cream. You go first. <laughs> yeah. No, Should I, I give you mine so that so that you get context? Yeah. yeah, yeah go All on, right. Go. So mine would be um, uh, uh, flying uh, private or first class because I just, I just, I just with flights like I would that luxury. But like, you know what? Travel can be such a mushkila sometimes that like. And it's out of my comfort zone, isn't it? Like, I like being at home. Fine, so I wouldn't choose th- that. So my thing is, Fine. I would want to travel in luxury. Just Fine. like, and pe- some people are like, but I don't make sense, you're just gonna, you spend so much money and you just get from, like, once you're there, you're there. And I get that, but... And you don't travel that much. I know. Fine. But I'm just saying, whenever I'm traveling, even if I'm just going, like, well, up, I, I, I like two, I, like two hours to Birmingham, Fine, I'm yeah. saying, like, when, wherever I go, to travel in luxury, to make, to make traveling <laughs> a bit easier for me, because you're already... Like it's like that thing that like when someone I remember early days, Bob. Someone said to someone said like what like um, someone gave a response to people who say um, they're not gonna take the the um, ease that Allah has given to a traveler because back in them days it was um, it was camels and they was walking for for days and months. Yeah, mm-hmm. and so we're not like that. So I'm not gonna shorten my prayer or combine my prayer or choose not to <laughs> fast if it's. And I remember someone responding saying that like, because obviously Islam is timeless, isn't it? No. And I remember someone saying that like, Allah knows that even if it's just like your routine that's different, yeah, when you're traveling, which it is, even that could just throw a person off, bro. You can't just wake up and you just know where the message is. You know where this is. Like you, you, you wake up at the same, if you're traveling, that means you've probably got an agenda. So you're like waking up early or sleeping less. So, so, so there's all this, you don't know where, you don't know, like, like when you're in London, bro, how nice is it that even if you was just like, all you had on you, was an oyster card and nothing else. You'd be able to get home in it hmm. because you just know the lines. You know what you're doing. But then imagine I put you now in the middle of, bro, Barcelona, Barcelona, Venezuela. Don't mm. know what that is. And you're coming through the private yeah. jet. <laughs> and I'm giving you like their their their. I'm I'm giving you their like bu- their equivalent of an oyster. Bro, you're gonna be still gonna be stressed, bro. Like even yeah. if you get managed to get home, you're still gonna be like, oh, I don't know where I'm at. Like, and then you. So, bro, Allah has just made things easy for the traveler. Mm. Fine, Achi, so so you so you choose the travelling over having like a comfortable place to reside in. Nah, 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 that's true, that's true, that's true. So I, I wouldn't was do that. I was thinking too. That's not me. 
I would choose. I would choose a nice, comfortable house, okay. Yeah, that's true. Actually, I take my back, my answer. <laughs> Over <laughs> now, nah, I take it back. You a made nice your bed, bro. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Now nah, you made your bed, bro. But I don't even like. Okay, you can sleep in. I the don't even travel chair. that much. Yeah, I know. That's yeah. what I'm saying. But you, <laughs> <laughs> for once a year, it was a private chair. He made his bed up in the air, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Bro. It was, it was off, <laughs> mate. It was <laughs> off, mate. Kareem, what's your answer? I would no, say I was, house. I, think. I was. I was thinking in between house and and um, car. No, no, no. Food. In between mm. house and food, because I'm just thinking of the I was essentials. Thinking that. The Fine. two essentials. Which one would I take? Uh, it's not binary. It's not like if you choose one, you don't. You're not gonna get the other one, right? So, in terms it, of lu- it, in terms of luxury, when you say when you say food, you're talking about daily like nice food. I'm, I'm thinking more along the lines of it's a luxury that I can that I can have. That means I'm set for life in terms of provision, in terms of eating. Forget eating good food, right? But I think I would choose the house. Mm. Yeah, you know what, boy? The house is a good shout because also the house is probably the hardest thing to attain in this dunya, especially especially considering we can't really get mortgage in that. Mm. It's probably one. So if you can get a house, a a nice safe house for your Mm. family, bro. Mm. Anything? Yeah, bro. Who wants to have luxury Mm. and travel? (laughs) (laughs) Who who does that? (laughs) Boy, it's an eight-hour flight, boy. You can't just sit in economy, bro. You can stay. You can come stay at my luxury house. Yeah, I'll, needs, ta- I'll take your private needs, jet. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I'll borrow your jet. So rubbish. <laughs> no, it's, you thought about the answer probably. Is there any, are there any flight? good answers in there? In mm? the live chat. Now, yeah, shall I tell you what made me? I mean, shall I tell you what makes me ask that question? Yeah, what's the answers in the live chat? That's a good shout. If you guys could uh, give yourself a luxury, what would it be? Um, but it has to be like a dunya thing. Yeah. But personally, yeah. The reason I can't get that question is because I watched an interview with Bill Gates once, and it was like, "Oh, like you give all this charity and stuff. What's the like, l- like do you do you give yourself any luxuries? Obviously, he's probably living in a fat yard, anyway. No. But um, he said, when I travel, I travel private. Like, that's the one luxury, like so I can get my work done. I can just like, like I can save time at the airports. I was thinking that's such a sick answer. You know and what? For years, I've been telling people. You know what? You know what? No, 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 no. The reason that it's not that wrong because you are talking about a luxury. You're not talking about a necessity. Mm. So if we were to phrase the, the question in that way, like you have everything covered. Your okay, necessities a, yard, a yard is luxury for some people. Now, hold on. I'm saying your, nece- your necessities are covered. Fine. Right? If your necessities are covered, mm. what's the luxury that you would be going for? You can still say a, a, a bigger house, mm. one that's luxurious and it's more than you actually need. Mm. But he's saying traveling. In, in first class, which in that case, I definitely understand. You know, uh, but I thought you'd choose a car over that. A car, car team. Yeah. Faisal. Yeah. Faisal Chowdhury. Like a comfortable But like you comfortable don't know me, car. man. A car. Yeah, because you hate driving. So I thought so you'd why be I don't like, want a car. Because you because mean a chauffeur? Easy. Huh? Mm, maybe, maybe if it comes with a chauffeur, yeah. Bro. But because, because you don't like being in it, I thought maybe you'd want to make yourself comfortable in it. Like at least have a nice, comfortable ride like that. No? Nah, but I feel like uh, it, it don't make sense to me. People spend a lot of money on cars, bro. It just doesn't cl- it doesn't click with me. Because cars is like, okay, I don't. I'm also not on the side of oh, um, if it gets me to a, from A to B, like you <laughs> know what I mean. I'm fine. <laughs> but I'm just saying that like I wouldn't. I I. You wouldn't get a Range Rover. I depends, bro. Because like what we're oh, fi- <laughs> what the finances now. <laughs> no, I wouldn't get a Range Rover, but but. Mm. Yeah, I don't know, man. Fine, I don't do, value do you change like your answer? Um, okay. Yeah, maybe. Go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm if I'm answering in that way, because um, it's a luxury, right? Mm. Like we're saying, I don't yeah, well. need a bigger house. Mm. So I would just think of what's my biggest problem and try to solve it. I don't know what, what my biggest problem past my necessities is right now. But I can understand where he's yeah. coming from, though, because once you travel once or twice on that... Easy jet, fine air. <laughs> you know, you end up with no knees after two hours. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I get it. But then, uh, yeah. But that was, was that what, how you were thinking, though? No, nah, I think it is. Yeah. I think it what? is. Really? That is how you were thinking. Yeah. When you answered the, the, the. But I wasn't thinking that. He, yeah, I wasn't thinking that yard was on the table, bro. If yeah, you're saying yeah, yard's yeah, on the table, of course, bro. Who yeah. wouldn't want a fat yard? But it was your question. <laughs> you set the table. <laughs> no, but it's an old question. <laughs> yeah, it, but it's a question that was asked to Bill Gates. And he yeah. said, he gave a sick answer. I was like, yeah, all right, let's see what some of the people are saying. <laughs> that, um, even that Bill Gates thing is scary, man. Isn't it? Well, Because he, like, he, he's one of those people who's got massive amounts of wealth, right? 
and um do you remember what we were studying with Sheikh a mm. couple of weeks ago? Mm-hmm. Like the qu- the question was why why do we study Tawheed, right? <coughs> and it, one of the one of the reasons was because without it, your deeds are not not accepted. So no matter how much charity um, you give, if you if you don't have Tawheed, it's n- nothing's accepted. That's scary. No, that is scary. Because pe- people like that, they they do think that obviously that they're doing so much good in the world. Like Bill Gates, he gives a lot of charity, um, and then. Uh, Jeff Bezos' his wife as well She's been giving so much charity Allah Musta'an if it would ever be Accepted in it Yeah maybe they'll just get the reward in this life Akhi, um, That's even scarier Yeah that's scary SubhanAllah Okay people have been saying Someone said uh, H said uh, home Yes but it has to come with some acres of land Um that sounds good Kiana said a house that can A house that can drive Wow someone said <laughs> health though what did they say? Health, bro. That's not part of the question. Someone said mental peace. Huh? That only that's comes with Islam. That's not... That's not... Is it? No, it's not. What, you're saying saying health is not a luxury, bro? No, I'm saying it's not like a... No, but you uh, can't it's buy... Not, it's not what yeah. he was referring to. You can't to. buy health. It's true, it's true. Bro, it's true. basically, what I was referring to, the answer had to be... Um, luxury Some travel. <laughs> First class. <laughs> it had to be luxury travel. That was Let's that was change the question so that that's the only answer. What I was trying to get out of you was just luxury travel, bro. Mm. Everything else, none of it, uh, nothing else ma- was meant to make sense. A range of classes as luxury travel in my eyes. Yeah. But how mad is that that um, hadith? Like now, as you get older, stuff like, for example, um, like take care of your health before you lose it, mm. and your um, like your age before you get old. So here. And um, what else was it, bro? Health, health before sickness, mm. like youthfulness before old age. You know what I mean, bro? But then when, as you get old, you only, it's, it just comes down to you're only appreciating things once they're gone. Like, bro, when I was dealing with that mad eczema, bro, I was thinking to myself, wow, like I never before, like, considered, I, was, I would never sit, at, like, I would never sit at home being like, oh, imagine how much of a pain it would be if I had a cracked, like thumb right now and I was bleeding from it because of eczema you don't think those things and when you have it you're like oh bruv like I didn't appreciate just the fact that I didn't have some eczema like bro have you had a, have you had a paper cut bro like a proper bad paper cut I, mm, I had one recently but it wasn't very bad but um, it, it was it was bad enough that it affected my day to day at work and it was it was it was like on my finger somewhere but because I'm always hands on with the food and stuff it makes you really appreciate it. And it, it was like, it's just a paper cut. <laughs> but that, t- that tiny cut hurts, man. Okay, mm. forget paper cut, man. Sometimes just a blocked nose. I was going to say that. The blocked that. nose is the one that gets me all the time. Yeah. You know when your nose is blocked and it's yeah, been blocked yeah, for yeah, a few yeah, hours yeah. and you're like, remember when I used to be able <laughs> to breathe and I, I didn't even think anything of it. SubhanAllah. Oh, SubhanAllah, man. I makes think you think, man. Yeah, I, I, I also, bro, you know when you, when you get a splinter, like a proper bad splinter? Mm. And you like you can't walk on your foot and that. I get splinter on your foot. And then where else you can get splinter? Okay, how's your eczema, by the way? Since, yeah, la- since last time we spoke, is it, is it even better? Bro, yeah, it's even better. Look, so how did you get it? I you can't see it. Didn't see it, have it. it. Huh? You never used to have that. I had it you? as a kid. Did you? Yeah, I had it as a kid. I but can't I even see it from here. I've you never had it. You can't see it in it. No. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay, you have some hench knuckles, man. Bro, don't make it, bro. Bro, you want to try it? Bro, you want to try it? Are you ready? Bro, you've always had big number knuckles, but that one's growing even bigger. <laughs> With this one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, do you have a big nose? Nah. Now, you can't even say it because you, you'll be mocking, nah. mocking the creation of Allah. Nah. Well, you know, you got that stereotype nah, about Pakistanis. Where did that come from, though? Huh? Where did the nose come from? What's the stereotype? Yeah, big hands, big nose? No, oh. there's oh. a stereotype that Pakistanis have big noses. Have you ever looked at... Have you ever I don't know. It came from a, it came from a thing, but I can't really say what it was. But yeah, but the Xmas, alhamdulillah, like completely better. Listen, I'm getting us chicken um, breast pitters, grilled chicken breast pitter, and I said no sauce because I don't like sauce. I'm just do it times it by three. Yeah, he does that. How do you feel about that? He, he does, does that. that. Yeah, well, he does that. Really? And but you're fine, <laughs> fine with it for him. And you're fine with it. Bro, but no one's gonna no, 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 but, but no, because there's sauce in the fridge, bro. What sauce? We've got mayonnaise. They put mayonnaise in it. So if you want mayonnaise, I could just individually add each. One. Do you want? Do you want mayonnaise? Yes, I would rather have sauce than a Fine, dry I burger. Do. Please, <laughs> use bro. It makes more sense to have just say on one of them. 
I don't okay. want this. Let me just remove yeah, them. You can bit. leave notes, innit? Do you want yeah. mayonnaise? Do you want sauce? Yeah, you want Uber Eats? You do? Mm. Is it Uber Eats? Yeah. Bro, you can do individual orders on that. Do you know I don't want to? <sighs> I just want to pr- I just click to do it quick. the plus button twice. <laughs> All right. See, so yeah, exactly. All right. Do you want he, hot he, or medium? He, re- he really, like, really likes his convenience, What do you want? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Yeah. Do you want hot or medium? What? Spice? Yeah. I don't mind. Medium spice. All right. Mo- you want medium? Mm. All right. And then to add. So there's... All right. What is it? Chicken cottage? Nah, it's called Peri Peri Cottage. It's, we've had it before. It's nice. Do you had it milkshake? yesterday, didn't you? You Do had it mi- yesterday. Do you have milkshake or anything? No, nah, I'm good. I could just look at it. Would you say remember? You had it yesterday, no? No. Somebody had it yesterday. Yeah. Boys at the office. There you go. Are you taking the? Va- are you, would you take the vaccine if you got offered it? That's a good question. Sheikh Hassan Al Hakim answered it the other day. What did he say? What did he say? <laughs> he said. Uh, what was the question? I think it was him. Would you take the vaccine mm. if you got if you got offered it? He said he would wait uh, wait like six months to see if it had any adverse effects. Six on it. months. <laughs> I'm waiting <laughs> way longer, bro. Six. I think he said six to eight months something. I think I'm thinking the right the right thing. Bro, there's no way I'm waiting but just yeah, six months. I, w- I wouldn't take it right now. Do you reckon though, Faisal? Once everyone starts taking it. Nah, no way. No way, bro. No way. No no Why? amount of pressure. Why? Bro, have you seen... First... Okay. Yeah, okay first I, I of all... I have my reason. I'm first of all... I have so mm-hmm. m- first of all, have you seen Wuhan? No. Bro, that's where the disease... The, where the thing started, bro. And then they've got a clubbing and stuff. They're out of it, bro. No vaccine. Mm. And secondly... Okay, the re- I'm not anti-vac, by the way. I just had my flu jab, yeah? Which, by the way, I was suspicious. I was thinking, do you reckon they put the COVID thing in there? <laughs> I said to my wife, I was like... Yo, do you think they're gonna try and like just shove the COVID vaccine in somebody's flu jabs? But uh, and to to be fair, I'm not so I'm not anti-vac here. But I did only get (coughs) I did only get the flu jab because my mom my mom said get the flu jab. She texted me loads of times, bro, and I kept like kind of putting it off. But she was like, you have asthma, get the flu Mm -hmm. jab. Yeah, I thought, you know what? They hit me up. The doctor (laughs) said she dropped me a text. Like, we got more flu jabs. Do you want it? Because you qualify. And I was like, do you know what, bruv? They literally asked me on play. My mum said, get it. So I got How it. How did you qualify? I didn't get that text. I don't know, because my doctor, you asked me, because you're in it. Yeah, but it's, I don't, are you taking inhaler for it? I don't I meant to take an inhaler, but I don't. Yeah, I don't anymore. So, um, so I took my flu jab. So I'm not, I'm, my point is I'm not anti-vac here, but here's what I'm saying. How long does it take them to find vaccines, yeah? And they did this in less than a year, first of all. And then they're already rolling it out. Then secondly, bro, I want to see how it affects people like a bit longer term. Maybe it fixes something now, but it breaks something else up. Do you know what I mean? Then on top of that, the other thing that I'm worried about is, okay, let's say the vaccine helps some people, but like they haven't done extensive tests on like how it works on South Asians, people with more melanin, like there's loads of different things like young men, old men. Imagine you take the vaccine, bro, like 10 years later, you find out that you, bro, I don't know, man. What if it makes you impotent? Like, what if, um, wait, is that the right word? Because last time I said something wrong. What did I say last time when we were talking about that? I said something like, does it make you a... <laughs> no, does it remember. make you competent? I know. Yeah, that's what I said. Did you? I said competent, I yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like, does it, I was like, oh, you might oh, become no, competent. We, we don't want to become competent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so anyway, it, make, it might make you Im- Im- impotent. Is that right? Im- Im- no. Impotent. Or it could make you like, your kids like, come out some like have a disability like mm. that's okay, like what to do w- with the vaccine what if they what if they make it mandatory which i don't know if they can but what if they do yeah if they're if they mandatory then i've got to take it <laughs> you're not gonna fight it what am i supposed to do bro if they say you can't jump on a flight and get your luxury <laughs> flight until you take the vaccine but i'm taking it escape the country i don't <coughs> think they'll make it back uh, they'll make it like that though bro. they can't make yeah it, it, so it many too much people, uproar, with so right? many people so confused about it surely they wouldn't make it come mm. on Okay, I'm, I'm interested to hear your thoughts because you're, you're very careful with, with these things, right? Yeah, no, that's literally what I'm thinking. I'm thinking none of what Fizz was saying sounds far-fetched. Mm. Um, I, w- I just wouldn't make, I w- personally, I wouldn't make a statement of I won't take it. But I'm definitely erring on the, ca- on, on the side of caution, which in my, in my view is, you know, I'm just keeping it the way it is right now. Some people would say that's not cautious. What's cautious is to take the vaccine. But I would, I would be wary as well. But I mean, if they, I if they really wanted to in- inject something as well at the same time, they no, it's could not about injecting something. Even if, even if they, did, I'm not even going there. Like they mm. did something on purpose. I'm saying, we, we just don't have enough info. Like, yeah, I just don't have it. I now probably won't ever have enough info. Like right now, 
even though vaccine have been going on for so long there's so much mm. information and misinformation and this and that so i would probably never know so it's just it's kind of just a gut feeling really just yeah and i'm not i, I'm not, I, I do have to reiterate i'm not anti-vac because say once more bro just <laughs> i'm not anti-vac <laughs> uh but have you seen that tweet that that anti-vac person put out and they said um they said um instead of creating a vaccine they said they said something like they must have been it must have been a joke bro this person he tweeted he said instead of making a vaccine why don't they just create a uh, a small um um, uh, why don't they just give everybody a small, uh, insignificant amount of this bacteria so that their body creates antibodies to de- to to defend against it? Why is that funny? Because that's what vaccine is, bro. <laughs> that is funny. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. They they invented a vaccine. Anti-vac people invented a vaccine. Beca- because this is different. That's why. The food's ordered, by the way. Someone's going to have to probably go to the gate. Yeah, that's sure. true. Uh, because I think maybe because this one was meant to be different, right? Try the gate thing. I have a feeling. Would it work? Mm. I'll ask. I'll, go, I'll try. Last time, bro, bro last time we yeah. ordered Uber Eats here, yeah? and then after seven o'clock, the gate closes, in it? The, the big barrier. And so I gave, I, I texted the butter, um, the gate code. I said, because no, everyone always, everyone always just comes to the gate and then rings and says that there's a gate that's closed. And then I'm like, all right, fine, I'll come get it. But this time I said to Kareem, let me text um, the guy our gate code and see if he opens the gate and comes all the way to the building. And bro, um, I texted him the gate code, bro, and he came all the way to the building. And upstairs as well, probably. Yeah. Then he then he rang. He was like, oh, I'm at, I'm, I'm. He was like, I'm here. Um, uh, can I? Uh, um, uh, can I? Can I come? And uh, 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 which floor are you on? And I told him floor, bro. And that sounds normal, yeah. But in this office, actually, considering you have to go through a gate and you have to find the right block and then you have to go up the, the, the room, that floor. So, bro, it's, it's not easy, any. Most people are like, look, <coughs> I'm outside, I just come outside. So you have to go to down mm. and find them. So, bro, <laughs> this guy, no. may Allah bless him, bro. He's a Muslim, innit? I think, because his name is Bersid. So yeah, I think he's a Muslim, yeah. Actually, he was so polite. And he was so generous. He was with his time. He was so friendly. He didn't. He didn't complain, which I uh, most people do complain because it is not easy getting here to that to this very floor studio, bro. Imagine. And I just gave him the code to the gate, even though it was dark and everything. He found it. He came up and he handed it, and then he, and then bro, he was like, uh, "Enjoy your meal," which people don't even really say. And I was saying to Kareem that it reminded me of my uncle. He said that when I was a uh, my uncle, he's quite um, successful in the dunya term, yeah. And when when we had him on a podcast, we were saying like, you know, what m- do you think made you successful? And he said, when I was a Tesco shelf stacker, I made sure I was the best shelf stacker ever. Mm. And he goes, when I made when I was a taxi driver, I made sure I was the best cab driver, mini cab driver. Like he would tr- he treated being a mini cab driver like a chauffeur. He said he was the only person in the mini cab office that would wear a, sh- a, sh- a, sh- a, a shirt and tie. He said I would pull up at he goes everyone else would pull up at the house and be like I'm outside. And he said he would pull up at the house, he'd knock on the door, and he'd like step back and say, uh, hi ma'am, your uh, taxi, your minicab's here outside, I'm just that car over there, take your time whenever you're ready, I'll be in the car waiting for you. And stuff like that. And he said because he Ihsan. treated everything with Ihsan, mm. he's now working for like the world's richest company. So th- that's what Bursit reminded me of, bro. Like I was like, oh, let me give him the gate code, like let's see like how much, like if like how far he can get. Bro, Bursit ended up, um, Doing a uh, uh, coming all the way, so my camera's gone. Bassett com- ended up coming all the way, man. So uh, uh, yeah, we. I we think people are meant to as well, man. Huh? I think you should you should put that in your in your notes, because when we get orders, sometimes I see like the driver's notes, and it, it says like you know, is this building come to date floor um, room number room number da, 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 or flat number? Da, da, da. Yeah, no, no, we do do that. We I've already got quite a lot an extensive thing in there, so I can't really like do much more. But then mm. we um uh, we gave him a tip. For that, because first of all, it was the, the, his professionalism, and second of all, he was a Muslim, and so he thought if we give this from the company, then Allah will replace it because it's for Sorry. the sake of Allah, isn't it? So, can you now have a plug-in thing on that one? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that now. I mean, let me just. Um, who wants a camera on then while I go and sort that thing out? Kareem definitely has to do. Kareem, can you hold it for me? Uh, you might, you might have to, because I was, uh, I'll be seen anyway. <laughs> yeah, then, yeah, then, I, can, to, then I, I can do this. You're gonna be seen now though, <coughs> unless you do some yeah, oh yeah. gymnastic thing. That's literally me. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what issues? <laughs> no, it's your issue, Zachary. 
Um, I took it. It's the last one. No, Matthew, what's that? What you got there? iPad? Yeah, that, that is your iPad. Wow, feels like you're bang in the middle of something. Oh, no, that was earlier. What's the comment saying? Uh, comments are saying a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> Comments are saying a lot of things, but I'll, I'll leave it to Faisal to go through them a bit. Um, Imagine everyone's hitting. Boom. Things. All right, I'm back for a bit. All right, guys, we have to pause everything for a second because Alhamdulillah, we've had our first super chat of the day. And so for that, first of all, let's get the sound. It was, it was a laugh, mate. It was a laugh, mate. <laughs> it was a laugh, mate. Um, and it's from Joeria M., who has given a super chat of fifty dollars, Canadian dollars? Wow! Wow! Um, Andrea says hi. May Allah increase you and all the individuals who choose to be part of FT's journey directly and indirectly in khair and goodness. May He always be pleased with you. Wow! Thank you so much for supporting uh, our podcast, Jorelia. Um It's just a casual chat between three friends today, and we thought we'd live stream it, and we really, really appreciate. Um, your uh, supporting the podcast with that super chat of 50 Canadian dollars. You know that, that that name rings a big bell. Achille, it, it rings a big bell for me. Why? For you. I know why. Why do you? Why okay, do you for me, I, I have a feeling she may be a Patreon, but I think I've definitely I mean, sent her. them. Uh, we've definitely, they've definitely purchased the game as well. Really? Well, I think so, yeah. Oh, uh, Joe Area from Canada. Yeah, mm. yeah, rings a big bell. Achim, may Allah bless, Allah bless you, Jureya, for supporting so much. Achim, yeah. she supports Zaha as well. No. From Canada. Really? No. Jureya from Canada? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow, may Allah bless her. She, she wants to, honor her. I, I won't say too much, but she, wa she wants to have like a, like a, because you know we do the, the feed forward thing, the meals. Yeah. Because she can't obviously eat that, she wants to um, be yeah. involved, yeah. like directly. May Allah accept from her. <coughs> may Allah honor her and um, mm -hmm. put Baraka in her wealth. I mean, I mean. Wow, I didn't <coughs> even know that, bro. She don't, and she's not even tried your food. Yeah, she hasn't, man. Had she tried? Has she tried? Maybe that's. She called the restaurant once. I spoke to her. Yeah. I mean, I was gonna say maybe that's positive. <laughs> positive. Maybe Sorry? she. Maybe if she tried the food. Yeah. She may. She may be like, you know what? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Less is a bit thick. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Oh, we got another super. Oh no, Allah we didn't. Course. That was just from Jerry um, <laughs> again. Oh, well, hold on a sec. What? <laughs> You've been getting them, is not <laughs> Bro. Achy, bring us in. It was, it was <laughs> off, mate. It was <laughs> off, mate. <laughs> Bro, Jim, where I am just donated 200 Canadian dollars. Oh, my bad, okay. Wow. SubhanAllah. I'll accept it. Bro, that's man. made me speechless, bro. That someone would even want to support the podcast like that. Oh, cool. She said, um, listening to the podcast has brought a tremendous amount of benefit to me personally. So thank you for choosing to place your energy, time and efforts in growing this initiative every day. Can't wait for the intentions and plans you have for FG to become reality with Nila AA from Canada. How amazing is that people across the world are supporting you like that? Oh, that's left me that's speechless, amazing, man. Because that's a lot of money, man. Especially in these times. Mm. To support the podcast and our mission, even though today we are just... Having a bit of a laugh. Mm. It was a laugh, mate. It was a laugh, mate. <laughs> <laughs> laugh, mate. <laughs> it's the fact that that Jurero would support us like that. That is. Subhanallah. I mean, I mean, may Allah bless you. Thank you so much. That was very, very kind and generous. Thank you for supporting the podcast. Um, yeah, it means a lot, man. And uh, yeah. Come on, what does it mean for you, Faisal? L l let's turn the tables. But wait, do you know why it means a lot? Shall I be honest? Shall I be yeah. real? Yeah. The reason it means so much that someone will support the podcast. Oh man, okay, because yeah. I uh right, we're gonna get deep for a second, yeah. The reason it means so much, bro, is because the, the mission of the podcast is so serious. Do you know what I mean? Like, bro, we're having a laugh, yeah, we're chatting, we can't get the stream to go up, probably we take 21 minutes to get into a conversation. I'm trying to order the food, but but on a deep, but that's just because we're just having a, a chat and we're having a um, conversation. Oh my gosh, we just got another super chat from Tamara Megan. It was, it was a laugh, mate. It was a laugh, mate. <laughs> um, bro, that's so generous. Tamara donated oh, 20 Canadian dollars. Bro, Canada is Canada is coming through today. Oh, Alhamdulillah. That's that's Kareem's face when he's just like amazed and and 
happy. I know that. I know Chris Face like that. Like he's just like contemplating. Yeah, he, Tamara he, says, <laughs> uh, thank you guys for the amazing. Where is it? Uh, thank you guys for the amazing service you guys do in this dunya. I'm thinking to come back to. Is I'm thinking to come back to Islam as I've left it. But please help me tackle being a Muslim in hard Western world. LGBTQ, drugs, sex culture, etc. Wow. So that again, Afif? Do you know what, Tamara? We actually have a contact that is brothers. Um, all right, there's these brothers. I'm going to get it for you now, Tamara, yeah? There's these brothers who have a... Um, like a facility, like an online facility, where they, where they help people like yourself uh, if you need like spiritual um, like help and stuff. Mm. Um, who was the brother that we had on? Uthman. Uth uh, do you know what? Tamara, if you keep watching the, the podcast, what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to try and find... Uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna find this brother's number. Let's make a phone call right now. Because I know. Because it, right, so basically, there's this brother, and they run a uh, for some kind of facility online which help um, brothers and sisters who who kind of like could ha could 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 have like are going through like a rough time spiritually. Um, and so there's an email. And so inshallah, they answer. Alaykum Salaam Shaib, how are you doing? Alhamdulillah, akhi. I'm very, very well. Jazakallah khair for asking. Bro, I'm live I'm live on a podcast right now, so I apologize for putting you on the spot. You can't be heard though. Bro, is there any chance that you could send me um if you could ask you know Usman who you came to the podcast with? Could you ask him to message me with the contact for his you know there's a facility where if people have like a question spiritually or they need help or guidance or they're going for a rough time, he said to give the um to give a specific contact or an email and then they, they'll deal with it like as a like you know through the right means because you're just asking to text that to me and it, because there's a there's someone on the podcast or i think um might want to contact that but if if possible if you can do it like um asap all right man thank you bro all right so um first of all tomorrow thank you so much for supporting the podcast second of all um I'm gonna find out. Uh, th this guy's hopefully gonna message me. It's, it's not my test case. Someone said it's my test case. It's not. It was when Shaib came with, um, uh, with somebody, it, when they, the fatherhood episode. Anyway, um, he was talking about the intentions. Yeah, sorry. I'm reading tomorrow's message. She said, "I'm from Pakistani Christian family, and my fi and my fiance is Muslim, but my family doesn't like the fact that he's Muslim. It's hard." That makes it easy. Yeah, uh, we'll try and get that contact. Oh man, do you know what I'm really about saving numbers? Because I know Usman texted me, bro, and he was like, "Um, bro, listen, if anybody, um, so, you, but it's calm. We'll get, we'll get, we'll get the contact in Shada. This thing, we'll make, we'll make sure it happens before you go off the stream. It just might mean you have to listen for another couple of hours. All right. So <laughs> listen, yeah. Here's the thing, right? Here's why the people supporting broadcast <coughs> mean so much to me. As much as we're having a laugh, yeah. There's a very deep meaning behind Freshly Grounded. And that meaning is, is that I was the guy who felt lost, bro. And you know this only because you've been mm. with me on my journey. Lost. Bro, I, I never cried so much as much as I cried that year. The year that I become, that I actually started falling in love with my faith. I also cried the most in that year because I was so upset. Because I felt like I don't have friends no more. Because I don't get, I don't want to go to where my boys go. I don't have... Like so much, bro. I felt like just so lost, bro. But I felt so happy in one way and content, but in another way, I felt so lost. And um, I wanted to create a culture where people can understand that there's other people like them in the world who regular people, but um, they care about their religion first. Yeah. Because I didn't see that, bro. I saw like old, old, old men with white beards. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so that was why it was important to me. But now it's so much deeper than that because now we're trying to change an entire industry. We're trying to like set the levels for the next generation and for our generation as to how a Muslim company should be run. It's changed now, bro. Before it was like just let's try to show people that Muslims are normal, right? Or like, let's show Muslims not to be scared of their faith. But bro, now so many people along with are doing that on such a wide scale, bro. Like it's gone out of our hands. Like I'm not saying that we started it, but I'm saying that like when we maybe had that idea, loads, a lot put that in loads of people's 
minds, right? And so now you've got like, like I don't know, um, Ilm feed, and you've got Freshly Grounded, and you've got, um, bruv, like, like, even stuff like Iman Channel, bro. But, or mm -hmm. you've got even access to people a lot more, like Ustad Yahya, Ustad Jamal, Ustad Tim, Muhammad Tim. Like, you can access them. So even if, like, you don't feel like you're on their level, you still can, like, connect with them. Mm -hmm. So things have changed a bit since six years ago when I had that concept. But now we've almost like moved on to this concept of, of if we can build Freshly Ground into a big company, right? Where off of these streams, off of this community, off of, for example, stuff like this, the game, bro. The game was just like an idea where we were trying to like pick ourselves up from how, from losing the events because of COVID. We were like, what can we do? And then we gave up on that. We were like, let's stop talking about what we can do and start talking about how we can impact like lives bro and we start talking about even if it doesn't sell like as in even if this doesn't make us money will we love the fact that someone has got these cards and it's impacting them maybe it just makes them think of Allah more appreciate life and that's I think where the, where, where the power was yeah and so the reason we want to build a company is because we can have people who work for Freshly Grounded Maybe an editor, maybe a photographer, maybe someone who's a tech guy setting up a podcast. So on the surface, it looks like a couple of brothers having fun. Behind the scenes, editors here, videographers there, content creators there, use of cooking, bro. Instead of cooking in a haram restaurant, we can have them doing made halal teaching people how to cook. All of this stuff, yeah? And we can just provide jobs, bro, where they can get the salary mm -hmm. they deserve, where they can get the... Um, uh, they can get the salary they deserve. They get the uh, like the top equipment, bro. They need like a MacBook Pro, four thousand pounds to make sure their work gets done. They're getting it. They get the uh, they don't have to work with Fitna, um, like around Fitna generally. I'm not even just talking like a man with a female, just general Fitna, bro. Like, but if you're hearing brothers, they come into work, bro. Like they're getting like, bro. When I used to work at Apple, bro, we would get Christmas present. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so I'm there, mm -hmm. like, do I accept the Christmas? Like that Fitna doesn't even exist, bro. You Eid off. Mm -hmm. Don't work Eid, bro. You never work Eid. Even if it, we lose, even if Eid is our most successful day, bro. You man take like no one's working Eid, bro. Don't, it don't matter because not about the money. It's about you can get, go home and you can spend Eid with your family. Ramadan reduced hours, so much, bro. Do you know what I mean? Graduates and Salah, everything. So because that's so important, and I want to be able to build that massive empire. Someone in the early days, like how I'm looking at it now, supporting. Um, Supporting by giving two hundred pound or by giving um someone by giving um uh two hundred pound or or twenty pound dollars, it's like that's a person who said I believe in the freshly ground mission, even if it's a dollar, bruv. Do you know what I mean? Because the the truth is that. We, we're in like a what? A small box room studio. Everyone, when they come here, they're like, oh, it looks, we always thought it was bigger, like a bigger in person. It's a, it's, a, it's a big office, but our bit is small. Do you know what I mean? And we need to grow so much more. And so this is like a, such a grassroots thing still, bro. Like we're not at the stage where we're like, this, that, this, that, this, that. But we're in, but we're in an office, yeah? Where sometimes, bro, it's like, I'm saying to Kareem, Kareem deals with the finances. It's just me just being real, bro. Now, yeah, me being real. Bro. I was there'll be times, bro, where I can say to, I can say to Kareem that I like, I need the extra I need a bro, this is real now. Yeah. Now. I'll say to Kareem, Kareem, bro, I need another monitor. A monitor, bro. So that we can um so that I can, so that we can like be more efficient, bro. Like them Apple monitors, they're like a bag, bro. Do you know what I mean? But they're mm. the 4K. Yeah. If we can just use them too, like that, <coughs> the reason that changes, for, they change things for a reason. It's not to say that we can't get a monitor. Do you know what I mean? Alhamdulillah, like we've got, we've built Fresh Granted a lot, Alhamdulillah. But it's that Kareem thinks about it like, is there other places? Can we make do for longer without it? Because is there other place, other ways we can benefit? Like, can we benefit mm. the people who work for us? Can we benefit like the Ummah? Can we like save that money so that when tax comes round, we don't fall into interest paying tax? Because the minute bro tax is due, because we're even then, bro, like it was so important to me that we did things legit. So, ta um, bro, do you know what, bro? I think that's the driver. Do you want to go grab it? I'll go grab it. Sure. Hello? Hello? Yep, speaking. Oh, amazing. Are you are you outside unit five?
Okay, I'm I'm gonna hand the door. I'm gonna hand it over to uh, my friend, and he'll he'll try to come meet you. Give me two seconds. This is lovely. Um. <clears throat> okay. So, bro, basically, yeah. Um. What I'm saying to what I'm saying to um. Talking about how how Karim thinks about yeah, but so so like I said, it's not about it's not like I was gonna, I was saying Alhamdulillah like in many ways things are so great, but I want to get to a point where an employee can say this thing will make my work a bit more efficient. And we go, bro, of course, because you're so, like we're trying to what we're trying to build, mm. bro, has such a big mission behind it. Do you know what I mean? So I think the the thing that I'm getting at is when people support it, it means a lot. Because it means that they understand the mission or they support mm. the mission or it's affected them. And that's what we want to do. We just want to like affect, affect people positively, but in a really subtle way. You know, like one of Allah's names is a Latif, the mm. subtle. Mm. We don't want to be in your face. Okay. Because, bro, it's not, the, 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 bro, like allowing someone, to, allowing someone to like work in an environment where it's halal for them or better for them, or they get to get Eid off, is, is like people aren't even thinking about it because there's such big problems, bro, in the world. That that we that rightfully so, but people ain't got time to think about that. But imagine if we just fix that, bro. Fix a small thing. Someone someone's there just trying to fix the small things, bro. Do you know what I mean? Sorry. Imagine how much of a difference that would make. And so so, so we can't belittle the honor, like we were saying earlier, bro. You can't belittle the honor of one Muslim, bro. Mm. The honor of one Muslim he weighs heavy in our heart. So, bro, what we can we can take one Muslim, bro, outside of working there, and he can work here and get the same salary, but he gets. Ramadan timings change. He gets Eid off. He gets the salary that is like he deserves. But he's away from fitna. He does his salah. Actually, there's no like alcohol in the office. There's no dirty, bro. There's no like dirty talking or dirty jokes mm. in the office. You know what I mean? Even when we do, we have a lot of banter in the office, bro. And sometimes, like it does with any group of boys or office banter, sometimes it can even be like, oh, you're just joking about people, like about each other. But it will never go too far, bro. Mm. And even if it, if it if it like got that hint of like oh, someone would say oh, you man can't like like someone will back like let's someone say for is. example there's three of us yeah and me and you are having a laugh and it starts getting a bit like we're almost starting to pick on each other <laughs> Kareem will and or, or not even starting like, it's almost like I'm picking on you a bit even before it gets too noticeable Kareem would clock and Kareem will back you to make me feel small almost to like put me in my place but in a subtle way like I'm up like oh only like Oh yeah, your trim looks like X, Y, Z. And Kareem will just go, bro, your trim looks sick only. <laughs> and I'll feel small, bro, but look how beautiful that is, bro. Everyone's just backing, got each other. Like, if someone falls a bit off, you know what I mean? Okay, I think it's it's rewarding enough for someone to um, just even believe in your vision, man. Because that, yeah, that 100, vision, vision is, is so personal to you. Yeah. And so for someone to even just understand it, just to, just to agree to it, is big enough but then for them to put their hard-earned money towards it and actually the reality is we don't know the situation of the people putting the money forward right mm. we don't know at all they, they might not be very wealthy they might not have so much money but they, they that might be the last 200 dollars absolutely but they they trust in your vision enough that they're they're willing to for the sake of allah they're willing to give it to you Akhi. so you can do good with it so here may allah Expand your business, okay. I mean, I mean. Um, what I'll say um, to uh, Tamara is we go, we'll get that um, contact over to you. But I'm just thinking how. I'm thinking if you email hello at freshlygrounded.com, then we can put them in touch. Yeah. That's the best way to do it, innit? Uh, all right, the food is here. Um, yeah, hello, hello, fresh guy. Um, bro, you might as well crack, you might as well crack that food open, bro. Give it to you. What did you order? I just ordered one chicken pitters.
You know what, bro? Yeah, that got a bit deep. Let's talk about the, the eczema. I'm gonna um, release a vlog. I don't want to talk too tough about it because I wanna. I'm gonna release a vlog saying like what helped me. Would you like so that's the because it's done. Huh? Bro, you know yeah, what bro, I like you garlic know sauce. You know what I'm actually quite enjoying, bro? What? The Made Halal series. Really? Yeah. Do you like it? I really like Have it. Have you seen man. this week's one? I did actually. The McRibs. It's like the only bro. It's it's like the only thing. Um, I don't get. It's like the only thing that I, I actually have watched most of. I think. Really? Yeah, I enjoy it. I wouldn't yeah. expect you to enjoy it. Why not? Because you're in that industry. So but not to it say it that it makes it more interesting for me. Really? Yeah, because because I'm 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 interested in how you how you lot are gonna do stuff. Can I give it? Yeah, see. Hmm? For that. For that. The fruits. Okay. Um, yeah, I like I, 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 I like Yusuf. I really, I really like Yusuf. Yeah, and Yusuf, well, Yusuf, because he's he just seems like a, I mean, I bless him, just a really, ni really nice guy, man. Bro, Yusuf, Yusuf's real, bro. You know why? What's so beautiful about Yusuf is that he's, um, like some people, I think almost every video, someone will comment, Yusuf, you need to smile, come with that energy, smile, something like that. Bro, what I love about Yusuf, bro, he's real, bro. He is so funny, by the way. Like when we, when we, when we, like um, in the kitchen, bro, he's a he's a laugh, but um, I'm not gonna play the soundbite. That's oh. Oh, super chat only, <laughs> um, but um, he's a laugh, bruv, and he cracks some funny jokes. But 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 shall you tell you what he is? He's a professional. Mm. When that camera comes on, bro, yeah, you can tell. He's man. up, and then we slice it, and then you want to split in two ways because when you do it like that, like, bro, he's on, he's on his stuff, bro, and that's beautiful mm. because you know when it's nice when you see people's humor, like you know when people comment and they say, "Oh, smile" or "Show some humor, show some energy." You know when it's nice to see someone's humor when you catch it without them knowing. You know what I mean? Like imagine we was doing a vlog and then like in the background you just see him cracking some joke, you'd be like, oh wow, he's a sick guy. Mm. But he didn't have to, he didn't, but that even shows that for the camera, he's, probably, he's just professional bro for the camera. Oh, he's look, at your shot, look at your shot. Actually, I was gonna ask, why you are, you promoting, are you promoting spring water? But you know why? Because basically- Did the, you order extra on purpose? I ordered extra on purpose because um, we our water system's down in our office, like the, the clean, the, Drinking water, so we have really? to we have to drink bottle from bottles right now. Yeah, so I thought we get some more. Oh, <laughs> we got a super chat. <laughs> 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 we got a super chat of fifty dollars. Thank, Thank you so much. So we'll say. It was, it was a laugh, mate. It was a laugh, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and funny, the super actually? chat says, "But I have to. I have to. The super <laughs> chat. <laughs> it says is Onali Khan married." <laughs> I will move on from that super chat. Alhamdulillah. Well, thank you so much, um, Didi, for um, that amazing. Uh, <laughs> <someone could. laughs> so yeah, listen. Huh? Okay, fine. <laughs> do it, do it, do it, do it. No, 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 no. Please no. <laughs> I have to behave. Um, yeah, so uh, Alhamdulillah. Thank you so much for that, uh, for supporting the podcast. Honestly, like, I know you um, asked um, a question, but that, honestly, it means a lot that you uh, supported the. Uh, <laughs> the chat okay fine that was really um, fun uh, thank you so much guys for um, supporting that uh, uh, supporting podcast that, that really means a lot oh right Boy, that, that water looks so some, bad on you. some ketchup. No way. Should I remove it? Jo Joe yeah. keeps asking yeah. about the joke I, I keep making, but I don't know what joke he's talking about. I don't think I've made any jokes, Akhi. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I you're really a naturally have. funny guy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no. it, say, it says, what's... Can you see that now? What's so the joke that Kareem made? He was asking earlier as well, so I don't know. I don't get it. Can you please explain the joke that Kareem just made? What did you say? Kareem, explain Nothing. it, Nothing. I didn't say anything. You're not funny? Huh? You're not funny like that? No. <laughs> explain the joke, Kareem. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think... Wh what was his name again? Joe. Joe. No, no, there was another one that commented something. He opened up to us. Tabish. Who? Tabish. 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 May Allah bless you, Tabish. Tabish said. We'd acknowledge him. Uh, my friend said. No, not that. Before that. Oh. Yeah, he opened up a bit. May Allah bless him. I mean. Tabish. I'm looking for it. Do you want it? No, I, want to, I, want to, I want to take it out <laughs> for a bit. You just want to see your iPad. Okay, Tabish said. Okay, we go. 
Three years ago, when I was 15, I started watching FG and the benefits I drew from it was were so different to the benefits I draw from it now, which is beautiful, mashallah, because as I'm getting older, more and more concepts are becoming relevant to me. And it's as though I'm growing refreshly grounded, even though I've never met you. May Allah reward you guys. I May Allah reward you guys and keep grinding. Aim high, as Omar says, and think big. I genuinely say FG has changed my life with the permission of Allah. Wow. It's changed mine too. After, after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Rasul and my parents, it's been the biggest influence and guide in my life as a teenager. Wow. Babish. <laughs> wow, that's amazing, man. Thank you so much for supporting, man. I mean so much. Wow. Hajj Vlogger says, Faisal, I messaged you on Insta regarding your ex-ma. Do check it out, inshallah. Inshallah. Ah, oh, man. Hajj Vlogger, I imagine that he, ha he hasn't been obviously being able to go Hajj this year, man. That must have been... All right. Let's scroll back down to the comments and see. Someone said, only hashtag lad. You know what that calls for? Yeah, a bit of a lad. Yeah, a bit of a lad. <laughs> yeah, a bit of a lad. <laughs> I think anytime someone says lad in the comments and I see it, okay, what is that? No, in I don't want to make that to? promise, but I'm going to say, I'm going to play that every now and again. What is that in relation to? I don't know. Do you know that? No, I'm good. Okay. Really? Yeah, I'm good. Like Makes more sense on your shot. Someone else has. Don't like it. Someone good. else has uh, opened up, but I can't find it. This would distract the life out of me, man. Do you know when the camera's on you only? Can you tell when it's on you? Is it, is it when that thing's red? Yeah, that thing's red. Yeah, but I don't look up there. But boat that you see that iPad is going to be in shot too much. Bring it closer to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it closer to you. Should bring it closer I can to you. Give it to Kareem. I don't need it. Oh. It's absolutely don't need it. Thomas Martinez says, Salaamu Alaikum. Zuhaib says, uh, Hey, I started watching when I was 17. I'm 18 now. <laughs> but I am so grateful for FG as I've always been using it as a Dean Booster and it helped me a lot to get off music as well as get me more feeling. What do you think when you see those messages, Kareem? Which ones? Just like people saying that they benefited from it. I feel honored, bro. Honestly. Really? Yeah. Bro, I, I, I'm a nobody, bro. And I, they're not talking about, about me, but whatever part I play, I just feel honored, man. They are, because you have such a big part to play in it. But what I mean is... Okay, stop downplaying your part, at, at man. At the end of the day, Allah has allowed me to... It's whatever okay. part I play in it, um, I feel honored, bro. Because I feel like I owe them. You know, oh, honestly, I'm not, I'm, not even, I'm not even trying to be pious or anything. How do you feel? Is more interesting, I think. Yeah, a bit of a lad. <laughs> no, sorry, I didn't mean to bust the joke there, but people are saying lad in the comments. It's fine. <laughs> um, it takes me by surprise every time, to be honest, bruv, because I feel, I feel honoured as well. Uh, but I feel like, wow, Allah's just... Um, I feel like I'm in awe of Allah, you know? Like if you don't, you got to relate everything back to just Allah, like mm. the way he, like he's constructed everything. Does it make you reflect, Akhi? Like how? Um, just to just reflect on the fact that Allah has put you in this position to be able to help people. Nah, but that's not me, bro. Allah's not. It's not. Yeah, Allah, Allah obviously is control everything, but I, 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 not me specifically, bro. Trust me. I will tell you why. Akhi, this. I mean, we we talk about about your vision. And if you weren't here, Fresh Grounded would not have been here, would not have been started. That's not true because Allah could have maybe chosen someone else to do. That's why I'm grateful yeah. that Allah chose me. That's what I'm saying. But I, I don't think I've had any impact on people's lives like me. I think maybe the brand and the message and the people, but like, fine, I, you got one, one thing in mind. The reason FG makes me so comfortable is because, um, the reason she makes me so comfortable is because people get to um, benefit from the guests. It's only stuff like a live stream like this where I'm really like, but really it's the guests that like, we've had some powerful guests bro, who, mm. who have bought some gems, bro. Look at it, bro. Shall I tell you one uh, mm. episode that must have really impacted people? Tim Humble talking about the, um, Tim Humble talking about shaitan magic and movies. Mm. Bro. Okay, but, 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 but you are in a way helping facilitate that. Nah, man. Yeah. Bro, you know what he said. That, you know what he said in one of those. You know what he said in one of those uh, in the in the magic movies one. Yeah, he said that he said. Um, bro, he said he went to a museum. Yeah. Oh, I can't remember. It's such a powerful point, bro. No, I can't remember. There's no point. It's such a powerful point. These chips are amazing. It's such a powerful point. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's mad, bro. The journey is the journey is mad, bro. Inshallah, the journey seems. Uh, what do you guys think about us doing a live stream like this more often? Maybe like outside of the normal episode. So, for example, we've got this episode. We, we like we release episodes every week, like with guests. But every now and again, or maybe even every week, if we can get only on it, um, we can do like a live stream like this, where we could just cut, like chill and chat to you guys. Because it feels nice. Do you know what I mean? And at the same time, yeah, a bit of a lad. Do you know what I mean? Okay, people will get bored of me extremely quickly. Nah. Extremely, extremely quickly. No. I think you. I think you'd get uh, more and more comfortable. And yeah, I'm um, very uncomfortable. Can you uh, tell I'm very uncomfortable? <laughs> yeah, you would get more comfortable because <laughs> at the beginning of this podcast, but you was even having a conversation while I was just trying to set things yeah, up. Yeah, because it's very. Uh, alhamdulillah. It's, it's just not natural. I mean, <coughs> if you're not in front of a camera, it's just not. Yeah, it's a bit weird as well because it's like very far away. But right. I agree with you though, Fizzo. It is nice to. Um, kind of get some feedback from the people mm. yeah it definitely helps me it gives me some context it helps center like w like the kind of idea of everything right mm. you're natural kareem mm. only in kareem coming through, coming through. <laughs> 600 plus <laughs> probably gone down mm. do you know how much it costs for an ambulance to um cut to 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 come to your house when you uh, when you call an ambulance. Here? Yeah. No, but I saw a video recently about it. Oh, how much was it? Oh, so expensive. Yeah. What do you well, mean though? Like for example, let's say for example you call an ambulance. Not how much it costs you, but how much Like how much fine. it costs costs the, the the system to do it. Yeah, the system. Fine, fine, fine. Do you know? Guess, make no, a guess. No, no. Every time someone calls an ambulance, <coughs> how much does it cost? Fine. Let's say 300 200 300 300 what do you reckon I, I would say maybe something in that ballpark I feel, in that area but so i, I don't imagine, know i imagine it's more though yeah comfortably more. so I, I don't know like the official figure yeah mm. but i remember one time <laughs> i remember one time when i was younger like we must have had to call an ambulance in it and um i can't remember why but anyway, the ambulance guy said, like he was talking about people calling ambulances like for, for petty things. Mm. I don't think we called it for petty things, but he was like, just talking to us. And, he, and what I remember when, from when I was young, I've always remembered this because I was quite shocked, is he said, do you know it costs 750 pounds wow. hmm. for an ambulance to be sent out? Now, I don't know if he was like, exaggerating because he was just like, but that's what, that's what I remember. So I don't know if there's any fact. If everyone knows our facts, let us know. But that's what he said. I wonder, I wonder where that figure comes from, though. Yeah, because I was trying to do the petrol. The yeah, I was trying to do the, the wage, hours wages of like and stuff two, as well. Two, three people, maybe. The wages. Yeah. But, but. You? Yeah, mm, the car, the um, cost of. Yeah, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Why would it cost 750 But But then I can also agree with it. Not agree with it, but I can understand it because I literally saw this, like, a video recently of some guy just asking people. How much do you think this costs in America? Or like one of the questions was sending out an ambulance and like childbirth and stuff like that, and they were ridiculously high, like stuff that you wouldn't you wouldn't guess. <coughs> so, I don't know. Our Google CEO just helped us out. He said, um, "I mean, probably not actually the CEO of Google, but he said um, that Tim Humble. He said that his sheikh went to a museum, and he was correcting the man in charge of." The history of the artifacts. So yeah, I think I remember. I think like he was correcting him, like the guy who like that this sheikh knew so much about magic and stuff. He was like correct. The the they was at a museum about magic, and the uh, the guy who was like doing the tour was like, oh, this was like this was taken place or this was taken from this era, and the sheikh was like, no, 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 it was from this era because mm. he knew so much about that kind of stuff. I think that's what he said, innit? Which sheikh was this though? Was it sheikh? Uh, sheikh Tim Sheikh or something. Yeah, something like that. Um, someone said, will this be on Apple Podcasts when it saves? Um, yeah, it will be, but not straight away. Maybe in, uh, hopefully, as soon as I'm able to get it up there, to be honest. So hopefully it's straight away, but uh, it will eventually. Inshallah. Um... Everyone's still giving advice to Tamara. And I'll make it easy. And just remember. Yeah, a bit of a lad. Do you guys feel shy to eat on the podcast? Because no yeah, one's talking to the food. Do you? Oh, yeah, a little bit. Because I don't know when Fizz is going to put the camera on. Yeah. But I'll put it on you, bro. Just eat and then... You know what I mean? Mm. 
Catch you mid-bite. What's wrong? Don't worry about it because I'm not controlling it. So you just start eating, but don't worry. <coughs> Do you think your viewers will mind? Nah. Okay. Do Do you guys mind if um? Do you guys mind if only cream eat? Do you want us to not eat this food? <laughs> um, okay, uh, Google says an ambulance. Uh, Google says an ambulance costs an average of four hundred nineteen pound per person in the UK. That's what Google says. Per person. Yeah, but Google's per not an ambulance driver. <laughs> Are you bringing back Ramadan live streams next year, inshallah? Will we be doing live streams in Ramadan? Have you ever done live uh, streams in Ramadan? You, you doing them? Yeah, you did with one the, like every day. Will. Oh yeah. Maybe your, your face just lit up though. Maybe I really like like I, I really like this. Yo, guess where I'm going on Monday? Go on. Guess. It's not international. Do you know where I'm going in, on in the luxury jet? Sorry. Do you know where I'm going on Monday? This Monday. This Monday. Newcastle. No, I'm going to I'm going to do something. Oh. No. Not skydiving. No. I'm going to get something done. What else is new? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> What do you mean what else is new? Yeah, uh, you're a doer. What else? What oh, you, no, no. <laughs> oh, that's very nice of you. No, I'm getting something done on me. Oh. Yeah. Hey, Jammer. Nah. No, no, no. Let, me, let me try to remember. Nah. What do you want, man? <laughs> but I'm getting my teeth whitened. I just cut oh, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Not, not from my choice. It was gifted to me. Ach, your teeth are on my body. They're nice, man. What's it was about? gifted to me, Achi. Oh, so you have to use it? You yeah. should use it. You should use it. It's a gift, Akhi. Yeah, I, I used the laptop because it was a gift. I mean, that's. I'm a very. What's Not at all. And do you know what I'm thinking, though, yeah? I'm thinking, like, if I get my teeth whitened, it's just my teeth are still yellow underneath. It's that like paint, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know how it works. I don't think so. It's I don't not think it's like, that. like, the reason my teeth are yellow or some of my teeth are yellow is because they're unhealthy, right? They don't brush them properly or something. So, when they're white, they're still unhealthy underneath, no? No, I don't think it's like that. I think it's probably to do more to do with coloration. Oh, do they clean the teeth? Something like, they're definitely going to clean your teeth before yeah. before they do it, but it's definitely not pain. I don't know how it works. It's definitely not pain. If you want them painted, bro, I, I can <laughs> do that. <laughs> now, I don't know. How, guys, how does... um How does... Uh, uh, how does <laughs> every man's comfortable to eat now? How, do, no, how does teeth whitening work? Kisana said this could be a um, a new idea for a group mukbang. <laughs> Bro, we had this discussion. Where do we have it? Oh, at your house. Um, okay, look. Everyone's saying, please eat. Everyone's saying, it's fine, it's fine, please eat. I mean, to be fair, we must, like, everyone is hungry. So we've got the approval of people now. For who's going to be the first man to bite into his chicken breast? <laughs> uh, what do you guys feel about grain? What do you feel about grain? Ex Muslim women? Has anyone, has anyone tried the halal McRib? Oh, I'd love to know. Okay. Google CEO is telling us about um, uh, about teeth whitening. He said, it bleaches the outside of your teeth. The inside of your teeth are yellow anyway, which is why they get yellow when outside decays or brush too hard. Huh? Could make sense. It could, yeah. yeah. I've been trying oil pulling with coconut for a few days. No results so far. What? Oil pulling. Mm. I've been trying oil pulling with coconut oil. What's that? Do you know what that is? No idea. Okay. Tamara just came through with the with the answer though. Oh, Tamara says I'm a dental assistant. They put they put a gel that dulls the yellow pigment in your enamel, giving the illusion of a whiter appearance. Illusion, bruv. No. That's my point. That's what I'm saying. Coloration. Yeah. So I'm getting an illusion done on me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But where where are you going to get it done? I'll look prettier. The podcast, 4K. Inshallah. 4K episode, inshallah. inshallah. Do you reckon those like whitening toothpaste in that work? I don't know, man. They're in it. They I can't. I, I don't really... Well, £1.50, you can whiten your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Karim's strong on this, though. 
I mean, he, he knows he knows a bit more, a bit more about it. Strong what? As in being careful about what kind of toothpaste. No? No, no, no. But that was just the whole, like, there's something on toothpaste that's called, like, fluor. Or I don't fluoride, know how you, no. Fluoride. Fluoride. Mm. But that's so, like, most of them have it. Yeah. So What's wrong with fluoride? No good, actually. Some people say they're not, it's not good. I don't know, bro. Wait, yeah. is that like a conspiracy theory or is that legit? No, I think it is legit. But I don't know too much about it. I don't I don't go deep no. when I'm researching these things. I just try to go for the safest thing and then that's it. Mm. I that doesn't mean I know about I, I, I really like that about him, you know. Well, Kareem's like the safest guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and he's great. Very, balanced, very, very balanced. balanced. He just... The, the, the halal is clear. The haram is clear. And whoever wants to protect his really and then there's a grey area. If you want to safeguard your religion, stay away from the grey grey area. Have you man got grey hairs yet? I do. You do? Yeah, I've cropped yours. Mm. Really where? I don't know. I can't remember, but, but you got one. A bit a bit all over. I don't think the I have one. It's I not don't a lot though. Them. I'm just like Do I have them? You cut my hair yesterday. I think there was one. Really? You didn't but tell me. I can't remember if it was you or if it's Samir. What do you mean? Because <laughs> that guy is there too. Oh, you didn't know which head he blinked on? Yeah. No, you didn't get tissue. Oh. <laughs> Colin Bell lost it. Are you serious? I feel like I've got garlic sauce in my beard. No, you don't. I have some in my jacket. Do you want me to grab some? Shall I? Wow. <laughs> no, I'm good, Akhil. Are you guys cold or hot? No, 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 I'm calm. Are you cold? Are you cold? No, he's cold. He's cold. Turn the heat number if you're cold. It's off. Yeah, it's off. Turn on, just press the on button. Um, what do you think of this live stream, Akhil? In general? Not not the amount of conversation that we are giving you, but just in general. Yeah, well, are you... Uh, no, <laughs> no. I'm liking it, bro. Hmm. I think... It's better. This live stream... Oh... We got a super chat, super chat in the building. It was, it was an off, mate. It was an off, mate. <laughs> From N, N gave us a chat of twenty pounds, British pounds. We got a British person here. Um, His name thank is you, Nabil. Oh, I've just got N here. No, no, it's at the end. He signed it. Oh, Nabil, Nabil, thank you so much for supporting our podcast. Nabil with twenty pounds says, um, "May Allah, thank you, bro. May Allah um, bless." May Allah bless you and the team for your efforts. I've only heard a p- few people that have similar goals, visions as FG and Allahum Barik Allahum. You are the few that actually want to make manifest this be- the benefit of the one to build. Oh man, Jabil, that's very, very kind of you, man. That's very, very kind of you. Thank you so much, Nabil. And just for a second time for you, Nabil. Dude, it's it's a laugh, mate. It's a laugh, mate. <laughs> it's a laugh, mate. Uh, uh, Abdul, Abdul Has says, just joined. That's where not eating on the podcast was Faisal's like number one rule. Maybe, maybe in the past. <laughs> you know what, yeah? Faisal has embraced change. Yeah, I've embraced change. But since Queen's, Queen's been in FG, bro, he's made me change, make changes. Uh, cool, For huh? the good. Mm. Inshallah. I hate change, bro. But but, but it's, it's not really like a like a serious podcast, though. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, Queen said, what do you think about the live stream? I think this is good. I think if we put a weekly episode out on Fridays, and then we can guilt-free put out a live stream like this and so people don't have to expect a great action-packed live stream it's just a chat a uh, few brothers having a chat do you know what i mean what do you think about it bro 100 percent. i think it definitely has to be in that formula if it's if if it was to happen but yeah definitely bro i agree i think the people deserve a good a good episode every week and then a, and then a good live stream as well <laughs> they do deserve it sorry they do it's just and then inshallah it'll be good <laughs> yeah yeah Nah, definitely, man. Um, yeah, here it says, I heard using the miswak helps white and teeth. Only would know about that because only um, using the swark's probably the most. Mm. How's your miswak game now, bro? He used to. He used to. He used to. Yeah, yeah, he used to have, you, you used to be, have the Kunya Abu miswak. <laughs> That's not even a joke. No, it's not. It's not. It's not at all. I really loved it, man. I would not. I would not leave the house without it. That was. Like, that was like one of the. I still remember like the that. first time you tried it. Yeah, do you remember? Why did you love it so much? Because it was sunnah? Yeah, that's, I mean, the first time I tried it, the, 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 the taste of it, Karim will tell you about it. 
I wasn't really too much of a fan of it. Yeah, you know it has like a distinct mm. taste and smell. Mm. So but it, like it fades, nah. doesn't it? It's very quickly. Yeah, it fades very quickly. But it was fresh out the yeah, out the fresh, fresh. vacuum sealed okay, thing. Well, I was like, wow, how can you how can you do this? I started loving it, man, because you you really feel that your teeth are clean. You really feel it. Like you know when you run your run your tongue along your teeth and you can tell when they're like like almost like mm. shiny clean. It's mm. like that, but all the time. It was very nice. It was very nice. But then uh, ever since I got very busy with the restaurant, I haven't been. So on point with it. You mm. know what that is, bro? That's that. That's that layer of um. Mm. What's it called? Plaque. Dirt. Yeah, plaque. Hmm. You're taking it right off. But you used to have <coughs> the smallest miswak. Remember? Yeah. What's the plural in Arabic of miswak? Go. Um. You're the Arab. Eh? I asked you. He was looking at you. No, no, no. He's I mean, you. Queen, what's the plural of miswak? Do you know it? I, I have know. heard it. Only plural. Anyone in the comments know the plural of miswak um, in Arabic? I don't you know it. Oh, you don't know My it. My guess, shall we, shall we, shall we all make a guess? Go on. My guess is. So miswak, yeah. I'll give you my guess as I'm well. I'm gonna say misa, m- misa work. That's a good guess. Misa work. My guess work. is masawik. Ooh, misa, masawik is a good guess. Go on, Ali. What's your guess? Masawik is a very good guess. Yeah, masawik sounds rubbish now, isn't it? Masawik. What did you say? Masawak. Hmm. I feel like I've heard that pattern before. I, I'm going to go with Kareem's one. No, no, you have to <laughs> your own one. Let me jump on that. You have to your own one. What are you saying? No, because ev- everything is going to sound dumb now. You could say like... M- m- go on, Swex. sound dumb. Go on, sound dumb. <laughs> you, sound dumb. Miss, um, you have to take Miss Wax then. Miss Wax. <laughs> <laughs> You could say like. Um, what did you, you say? You said Masawik. Masa, Masa, he said. Well, Masa you said Masa work. Work. I said Masawik. I said, said, said Masawik. He said Masa, Masawik. Fine. Then I'll say Misawik. 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 Fine. Mm. Can someone tell us? I don't know. Right, who, That's someone said. That, I don't, that we don't know. Okay, Daily Ascension said it's Masawik. I don't know if that's true, but it sounds like they're serious about it because they've done it. They said it twice and then they said that's the one. So I'm going to believe them because they're. Masawik. Because they're saying Masawik. What do you, who, who is that close to? Uh, I said Masawik. You said Masawik. Yeah. And you said. What did we say? I did said mis- it was closest to yours, isn't it? I Korean. said Masawik. Yeah, he said Masawik. Just Masawik. Mm. <coughs> with the Fatah. Was that one with the Fatah? I can't see the comments. Nah, he just wrote it in English letters. Yeah, about. What Masa Masa week. Masa week. Find it in Arabic. Go on. Like actually in Arabic letters. Yeah, Masa week. What's this? Uh, what's the plural of Seattle? That's a hard one, isn't it? Seattle. Huh? Seattle. Seattle. What do you think the plural of Seattle is, Queen? You have an Arabic Cuban in front yeah, of you. Yeah, I would say Siyarat. Use it. That's how it is in I Moroccan, think Moroccan Arabic. Anyway. I'm going to go all out. I'm going to add a letter before. Go on. I'm going to add an alif and say As. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm going to take that back. I'm going to say Say. No, nah, I don't know anyone. Someone said Sayarat. I don't know. We, so <laughs> Sayarat. Zaheb said, um, Zaheb said, how did you guys learn Arabic? Clearly by, <laughs> <laughs> clearly by listening to us, we actually <coughs> have not learned Arabic yet. <laughs> 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 Ali, someone said, the Moroccan Kareem, I love you, bro. Mm. Oh, people give me love, Kareem. Kareem is loved. How's that feel? Yeah, I love him back. Okay, for the bu- for the bu- for the person. Oh, do you know that person? No. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, they showing me love, so. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I love you too, though. Mm. You're showing me love back. Uh, uh, Goku said it's uh, <laughs> Sierra uh, Sayaratin. Sayaratin. No, but tin is just a way of finishing it, though, isn't it? 
I'm not convinced by Sayyaratin. Hmm. It is the equivalent of Sayyarat though. Sayyaratin. It's just a way of saying it. No. Yeah. No. It's a different letter. No, but you know on, on our lessons, Facebook. Yeah. Like he's using two like he can say it in two ways almost. Sometimes he finishes it with like Bab Babun. Yeah. Oh, is that? Oh no, but there's two different letters. Yeah. There. Does that make That's it? That's like Nahu, like Papa. What? How? You, how what? 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 Um, Harakat you end the word in? Mm. Does it change the word? That determine. Yeah, that determines like who owns it and stuff. No. No, um, but what, what you're saying, mm. um, I'm saying a different. I'm I'm saying letter Ta. But not the Tamarbuta. It's the Tamarbuta, isn't it? The ha- the how the two dots on it. Because then you, you can't end it with a wouldn't sound like a like a tab, right? Maybe. Let me ask you a controversial question on the air. Why me? Would you drink water from the yeah. from the bathroom tap? Would I drink it? First of all, would you drink from the kitchen kitchen tap? Yeah. Would you drink from the bathroom tap? No. Why? Dunno. I think I think just 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 the way I was brought up. Nothing to do with science, nothing to do with I have my reasons. I just find it very uncomfortable. Uh, you know how, how I am. Yeah, you live true. with me. Or can I tell, it, can I tell, it, can I tell everyone a secret? Nah. Or can I live with you? Can I tell my secret? Is it? N- yeah, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. It's fine. How secret is the secret? <laughs> it's just about your... Um, yeah, it's mine above. You'll be, ha- you'll be proud of it. Okay. But Kareem, you know when Bismillah. you shower, yeah? Do you... Wear <laughs> <laughs> how do you already know? <laughs> go on. <laughs> when go you on. shower, do you wear shoes in the shower? <laughs> shoes, man. <laughs> shoes. Shoes, shoes. Yeah. No, no. Nah, do you wear shoes in the shower? Slippers. Do you wear shoes in the shower? Shower Any, slippers. No, no, no. Anything, uh, anything on your feet in the shower? No. Nothing, innit? Nothing. Likewise, that. Like, you know, only. I know, I know. So, w- w- do you feel ashamed? That, is that why it's a secret? I'm just saying, only. Because it's so strong on it. I, yeah, but I'm just saying, only. I can't, know. He can't shower unless he's got crap. Okay, he made me feel a certain type of way as well. Bro, say, but, bro. But bro, I'm when sorry, I was living bro. with him. I'm nah, sorry. When I was living with him, bro, he was like, he was like, Bro, you don't wear slippers in the shower. <laughs> I was like, bro, don't do me like that. Like, you know them ones where you're like, I can't do that, man. You only has to wear crepes in the shower. No, nah, actually, because when we were living together, bro, someone lived there before us. Yeah, but bro, you clean yeah, but you it. You clean that. That's it. Comfortable, man. Huh? Actually, grey area. I'm staying away from this grey area. <laughs> What's the harm in slippers? No, but but you 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 can't shower without slippers. That's probably because of that. He thinks that it's not clean, bro. Nah, uh, maybe okay, it's fine. I'm, I'm sure you know, clean it's fine. But it's just. But only me and you shared that shower as well. So you're saying? Yeah, but you're people lived there beforehand. I'm dirty. <laughs> <laughs> nah, people lived there. I don't know, bro. We have to get the comments on this. Huh? Do you guys wear showers? <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys are wear you? crepes in the shower? Are you not a believer that the shower cleans itself? <laughs> I, do you believe that you don't have to wash it, the Bless. towel though because it cleans itself? <laughs> bro, oh, you know what? Nasty. Yeah, Achy, that's me. That sh- I should ask you that question. No, that's not. No, I'm just kidding, bro. That's oh, nasty. Bro, the sh- bro, you not, you not, you not standing in the shower. It just feels so like. Achy, bro, bro, bro. It's like trying to throw stones at the moon, like. You, yeah, <laughs> because because you're you, like, bro, your body's in the shower. Yeah, I'm not touching anything though. Nah, bro, man. Okay, but we're not talking about like crepes though. We're not talking about shoes. We're talking about because you don't want your feet. Slippers. It's because you don't want your feet to touch the shower yeah, floor. Yeah, it feels uncomfortable. Is it? Is it the? Um, is there a certain uh, texture that you're feeling? Some I think. I think. I think it is now, but it's more to do with. Um, You've always been doing it. Yeah. Yeah, I have. But if it, if, it, if, if it was like my own place and it was like a brand new dirra, then I wouldn't mind. Run me through this so one. Do you wear crepes in your own shower? Huh? Do you wear crepes yeah. in your own shower? Yeah. yeah, I do. Hold on. <laughs> you have to wear a jacket to bathe. Say what? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. I cream's on my wavelength. jacket to bathe? Yeah, if you had to like... <laughs> <laughs> I just got it. Bro, man say... <laughs> man say, yeah. Because you said that the reason you wear... Crepes in the shower. 
<laughs> bro, cream smashed it, bro. He said, if you, the reason you wear a in the shower, bro, is because you don't want your feet to touch the shower. So he said, you have to wear a jacket in the yeah, bath. Yeah, I got that. I got it. Because <laughs> your body's touching the bath. Nah, because I don't have baths, bro. <laughs> Alright, so you didn't have a bath. No, you had to, I'm saying. Nah, why would I have to? <laughs> you got a gun on me? <laughs> no, I'm saying. <laughs> then I'll touch, I'll how do you get out of that one? No, Bakhi, because it's not there in the first tell, place. Tell me, how did you get out of... I prepared you a nice bath. Mm. What'd you do? Yeah, yeah. Bakhi, let, let me Cream, just Cream, Cream said, you know what, bro? Why are you preparing you're staying out of my bro. yard. <laughs> Cream, Cream I said, prepared you a bath. Cream said, <laughs> Cream said, you're staying out of my yard, bro. I'm looking after you, bro. You know what you need? You had a long day at the Zaha Grill. I won you a bath, my G. Yeah? Got some bowl bath in there. <laughs> it's not like do? I'm allergic. Bro, it's not like if you're, you'd be uncomfortable. It's just I would just prefer it, prefer not to. But if if Kareem went through the trouble to, <laughs> to make a bath for me, is is there a bath bomb in there or not? Just like bath, regular bath. Whatever. Okay. If there's a bath bomb, I'll get in for you, bro. For me. Yeah, I'll get in. Will you buy some jacket? Nah, without a jacket. Well, well you're making progress, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but but you wear the sleepers though anyway. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> in the bath. <laughs> Did you have slippers in the bath? No, bro. <laughs> I do, I never have baths. Do you have bath? You never have bath. No, no. Never. You never have bath either. No, not really. Yeah, man. I feel violated right now. No, no, no. It's calm, bro. But you said I could talk about it. Yeah, that's fine. But. No. I had one bath, yeah? <coughs> like, I want to say like two months ago. Maybe three months ago. Because mm. I was thinking, yeah, like, <laughs> I was thinking, like, what's the, um, the hype, like, of the relaxation, the relaxing, but, okay. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. You know what I just remember, bro? Should I tell you why I feel uncomfortable having a bath? Okay, because, so basically, I thought, what's this hype about, like, having a relaxing bath? You know, like, I've never had a bath before, but now, I don't, man, I've got stresses. I think, you know what? I could do just, like, de-stressing, Yeah. I run myself a little bath. I even put a candle on, but I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> he does. He puts candles on it for everything, though. So yeah, I do. Have, I, like, I like a good candle. So I put a candle on. Like I had a bath, and I said to my, I forced myself to relax. I said you have to because I don't relax. Yeah, so I tried not to think about work and stuff. No phone. No phone. Nice. I had a book. I had a book on nice. an audio book, but then I ended up turning it off because it wasn't letting me relax. So I sat there and to be honest, I felt, a, I did feel a bit relaxed, but I also said I'm probably not going to do this again because the thing that makes me the most uncomfortable about, bo- about having a bath is that the aim is to feel relaxed. I can't feel relaxed knowing that I'm in a bathroom with a shayatina. Yeah. You know what I mean, bro? Yeah. So that's the, if I had a bathroom separate to a toilet so room, so I could probably relax in a bath. 100%. But I just feel like there's gin in there, bro. Yeah. And I can't relax with them. <laughs> That's me as well. In it, it's so true, bro. But mm. you're right, though. Imagine having just that, like without so. the toilet. Then it's different. Yeah, if it was like um, that's true. If it was like just a bathroom, you got a bath in there, you got a shower in there, you got a sink, but the toilet is a separate room. Then I could probably have a relaxing bath, but I, ain't, I haven't experienced that before. I'm, I don't know. Maybe some hotels have that. Yeah, honestly, it's not about that life either. No, that, that, that sounds that sounds right. As long as it's okay, if it's here's what I mean. If it's my own bath, and it, it, I've had it since new. No qualms. What do you mean since it. new though? Since new, as in, bro. For some reason, it just feels ajib to me. Knowing that you know. For example, when me and me and Face were living together, because I I knew people have used it before. For some reason, in my head, it's like. Rather wear slippers. That makes sense or not? No sense at all. No, I understand. Have you? Let me ask you this: Have you ever cleaned or witnessed? Yeah. You yeah. have. Yeah. And still. I think I think after a while it was just a habit. Fine. So it's just yeah, but I think I think it's psychological. Probably is. Fair enough. Like he, he's used to it now. Yeah. It's a habit, <laughs> right? We all have like rituals like that, innit? Yeah, that's true. Go on, name one of yours. Yeah, I'm trying to think of one of mine, like, for example. I don't know. 
Do you know? If I could build my own house though, inshallah, one day, I would definitely have a separate bathroom. Mm. Akhi, do you, do, you, do you wear slippers in the bathroom? Yeah. Akhi, it's the same reasoning. Go on, big man. Not necessarily. Yes, yeah, it's, it's the same. It's the same idea. No, because head. the shower has a different floor to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Shower. The shower floor is <laughs> calm, bro. Okay. <laughs> to be fair, why 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 is the bathroom floor not okay? Do you wear slippers in the bathroom? Not in the shower, but in As the bathroom. Separate ones. Yeah. From the rest of the house. Yeah. Not necessarily. You wear nothing. And I don't always wear no, slippers. No, no. I, I wear the slippers that I'm wearing outside the house. I'm always wearing slippers. You don't ever wear, you don't ever just walk around your house barefoot? Not really, no. I'm not a big fan of that. Mm. Same. You know one thing that baffled me once in my life? Yeah. So, um, I like to... Sometimes, bro, yeah, some weird things uh, like, like stay with me. Like a statement someone will say. And uh, I'm, as you guys know, uh, most of the time I'm quite, I'm quite forgetful, yeah? But sometimes something someone will say to me just sticks me. I remember it clear as day. An example is that ambulance man telling me it cost £750 to get an ambulance. But I must have been like six, seven years old. But I, this just stayed with me, yeah? So one time, yeah, my uncle, one of my uncles, you know my uncle from Wales, yeah? Hmm. One time he came to my house, yeah, and he was like, he said to me, he said, yeah, I was young, bro. Again, m- maybe under 10 years old. And I remember him saying, I remember like someone said to him like, oh, do you want to uh, uh, like take your shoes off in the house? Oh, no, why don't you take your shoes off in the house? Like, it's just uncomfortable. It's like busting jeans in the yard, bro. It's like you're at home. So he was staying around. Someone was like, I'll take your shoes off, you're in the house. And he said, oh, I don't like, um, <laughs> he goes, I don't like taking my shoes off in the house because I don't want to leave my socks dirty. Fair enough, innit? Fair enough, yeah. But then, bro, yeah, <laughs> I remember like maybe a, a couple that just for some reason that stuck with me, bro. I just didn't forget it. Maybe it was that like, profound for me, like oh, that's that's interesting. That makes like, sense. That, that he has this like thing that he does, yeah. So then maybe a couple years later, bro, man's at the yard busting socks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, <laughs> bruv, I'm, I'm thinking, bruv, did a man say that? <laughs> in my head, bruv, man, did a man say that he would, he wouldn't bust socks and he, he, that he would bust shoes in the yard so that he didn't get his socks dirty? Did so, bro, instead of like asking him straight up, I think I must have said to him like, oh, like how come you're wearing <laughs> socks in the yard? And he goes um, something like, oh, cause. <laughs> I think he's just like, like, oh, because I don't want to get my feet dirty. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. I, I said, I was bad last week. <laughs> Bob, how much can you get? What after feet? What is there, bro? <laughs> so anyway, yeah. So then I pulled him up on it. I said, you know, like <laughs> a couple years back, <laughs> I said, you know one time you said, yeah, that you won't, don't wear your shoes because you don't want your socks dirty. And he's like, no, no, no. I wouldn't have said that. Um, because... I would um I don't I wouldn't want to get my I wouldn't want to get my socks dirty. That's why I wouldn't wear I wouldn't want to get my feet dirty. That's why I would wear socks in the yard. So that's just normal, isn't it? Like a man has said something, and then over time he says something else, and just at that time that felt like like that's mm. what he was on, mm. and then later on that's what he was on. Like it was not contradictory. It was contradictory technically, but not really. Do you mm. know what I mean like he contradicted himself, but. He felt that at that time, forgot about it because it's a minor issue, and then he felt the other one at the other time. But I never forgot it, bro. <laughs> 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 like, I remember just being like, wow, mad contradiction, bro. <laughs> I remember feeling like, P- I-, I remember, it, for me, it was insight into human psychology. Like, I clocked that he was being genuine. Like, he genuinely don't even remember saying that. But I remembered. I was thinking, wow, like, humans can say something so passionately forget mm. and then say something completely the opposite passionately and believe themselves mm. okay you might you might catch me having slipperless showers that's what i'm saying bro in the future but even i don't like, i probably say something powerful I, I hope you don't catch me having a slip on a shower <laughs> 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 <But> you, <might. laughs> you could say something so powerful bro because you resonate with it and it's your truth at that time 
Mm. But then your truth okay. just changes. Yeah, and that's man. fine. But don't you think that as people, we pull people up too much on what they say and stuff when people can just, their truth can just change? No, nah, but I think it's good to pull them up because you do want to know where they're coming from, whether they're coming yeah. from, are you a liar or did you just genuinely forget? Or, th- or they've gained some knowledge. Or they g- whatever it is, it's yeah. fine. There's nothing wrong with changing your mind, but just, you know, enlighten me and make me understand because otherwise... Yeah, don't confront them though. Like <laughs> No, not confronting, not confronting. Well, I was six, you said this. <laughs> Did you confront him? Oh, you know, you're, uh, you, what, after, what about the shock screen? Sh- sh- yeah. Were you confrontational? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he thought he was man was I, a liar. I said to him, I said to <laughs> Put your hands <laughs> up again. I said to him, I said to him, you know you said it. It's like, it last time, and he denied it. And that's when I clock like, this ain't no good <laughs> of having. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, bro, I'm not, I'm not picking, so you got to pick your battles, bro. I'm not picking this one. <laughs> Listen, we got a super chat, Alhamdulillah, from Jamila. Oh, and so we must say. It was, it was a laugh, mate. It was a laugh, mate. <laughs> Uh, Jamila, thank you so much. Super chat for twenty pounds. Ah, oh, so generous. Thank you so much for supporting the stream, supporting the podcast. Jamila says, "May Allah reward you for all your efforts." I mean, I mean, thank you so much, I mean, Jamila. I mean, I mean. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you're right. I guess people, uh, you should pull people up. But then again, I think that you shouldn't because. People might say something and then they just feel it and then they might be wrong. You can't be too harsh with people. Bro. Yeah, it depends no, on your I'm relationship, not, back then, man. I'm not, yeah. I was, that's what I was going to say. Not always, but if I'm going to have to deal with you, I want to know what you're about, though. Yeah. If you're just someone random, don't really care. Mm. I won't judge you and say you're a liar. I feel like I'm the type of person that would say something and then change my mind. I feel like I do it all the time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Definitely. Like, I wouldn't want someone to put me up on it. But at the same time, I'm that guy who always puts people up on it. Why would you not want someone to put you up on it? Because oh, I, I don't feel like I'm lying or cheating or, or, or being but like malicious. I just feel like my, my experience has now changed. But what yeah, does pulling fine. up mean? Yeah, you, you like take being at a time. What does pulling up mean? Like, say, for example, you said something and then I'm like, but didn't you say three months ago that? Yeah. Is that annoying already? Yeah, because, like, <laughs> let's say, for example, I'm like, oh, no, I don't want to do live streams like this. I want to do episodes. And then I don't want to do, like, and then I'm like, you know what? Yeah, but didn't you want to do one every week? I do want to do that. It's a bad, it's a bad example. Bro, it's pulling, it, pulling your leg. Um, why is that bad, though? If someone pulls you up in, in a non-confrontational manner. How do you pull someone up in a non-confrontational manner? Just have a general, normal just conversation. Yeah, just that. clarify. Like, what, what happened? Ah, oh, but you said this. No, nah, not like that, though. Yeah, that's, uh, how that's confrontational. Yeah. I'll tell you about that. Hmm? Shall I see what the, uh, my ugliest trait is, bro? Mm. One of my ugly traits. Like, if I'm like trying to win an argument, I'll use that. <laughs> like that. Like, oh, but you said. Oh, no, that's naughty, you have. That's bad, isn't it? <laughs> uh, let's say if you come to, come to me, bro, and you're like. Like, for example, let's say if you come to me and you said something else, but now you're saying something else, yeah? But it makes complete sense. Your experience changed. I just, just just because I'm trying to win. Alhamdulillah, <laughs> 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 I don't have arguments often, Akhi. Alhamdulillah. Arguing is such an ugly trait, isn't it? It's, very, it's, bad, it's, mm, it's dangerous, Akhi, man. Nothing good comes from anger. Um, I think funny. it was Sheikh Abu he said that um, nothing good comes from anger. No, 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 no. He said nothing good comes from hastiness and nothing bad comes from... Uh, Patience. What's the opposite of hastiness? Patience. Yeah, like patience. Like, ref- like just taking being slow time. with it. Yeah, taking your time. But also, nothing good can come from anger. We know that. Let's talk them. Let's see what the people are saying. Um, what is the essential equipment you need to get a po- podcast started? Could you recommend? The essential equipment you need to get a podcast started is literally just um, your phone. And That's a, it. And a pair of headphones, maybe. Why? As in for the mic. Yeah, yeah, your phone. But you can even do it without headphones. Yeah. Really? Ibra says, Ibra, Ibra says, I absolutely love Zaha Grill. It's a bra from Birmingham. FG benefited myself and they made me better person on Lombardic. Oh, and we have a super chat just come in. 
for $19.99. Very specific from uh, Lama uh, Al Yamani. Thank you so much um, for supporting the stream. And we must say. It was, it was a laugh, <laughs> mate. It was a laugh, mate. <laughs> and also. Be a bit of a lad. Be a bit of a lad. Thank you so much, Lama, for supporting the stream. And. Um, not even not even uh, saying anything with it, just wanting to support. That means so much. Thank you so much. Uh, Kareem, what do you want to say to Lama? Actually, can you not speak, skip past Abra like that, though? That's Kareem. Oh, sorry, Abra says... I remember him, actually, man. Allah bless him. Okay, Abra said... SOS, for some reason, I cannot donate to Super Chat. Oh, wow, we need to help Abra. Look at that. Abra... <laughs> 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 Kareem, what are you doing sitting there? Uh, um, um, Ibrahim, you know what? Unpopular <laughs> for me to say, but because you tried to donate to Super Chat, you're going to get the reward anyway, inshallah. Right, right. Ibrahim says, I absolutely love Zaha Grill. It's a bra from Birmingham. Yeah, I remember that. FG benefited myself and it made me a better person along Birmingham. Only, what's your message to Ibrahim, who supports Zaha Grill all the way from Birmingham? Ber- Ach, you, know, you know the the, fir- the first thing when I heard that name that came to mind was that that brother's very soft spoken man. A lot of people who are soft spoken. Bismillah, bless him. Assalamu alaikum, my brother. I hope you're well, and we hope to see you in Zaha soon. Would you ever open up in Birmingham? <coughs> if the market is there, yeah, I'm welcome right anywhere. It's like a very specific market. I don't know if. Would you go down a franchise route or an ownership route? Ownership, really? Right. First, definitely, yeah. To have, to have control over it, man. I mean, I wouldn't be in charge anyway. I'd, I'd, it's not. I'm not at the head of it at, at all. I don't want it to come across like that at all. It's my brother. But he, he's, he's. I know for a fact he's definitely looking down the ownership route first. What's um, the advantages of a uh, uh, franchise? Expand quickly. Cost. Oh, expand. Yeah, you can you can expand a lot quicker, but I guess you have less control of your. Because y- just like Achi, you know how some like some. Some chicken cottages, for example, they're way better than other other ones. Some McDonald's, yeah, for example, they're way better than other ones. But even some Nando's, yeah, they're way better than other ones. I watched a documentary. Ah, yeah, go on, sorry. Yeah, but it's, it's because the w- the way it's managed. That's it. No, nah, but there's other things like the speed. Like for example, mm. um, there's a documentary called Inside KFC in Christmas, mm. and they compete in all KFC branches are competing with the other branches near them for who does the fastest. Like um. Uh, drive through and stuff so really? there's beef within the <laughs> even within the business that's good yeah I like that that's good but yeah I don't know I think I think we, we, we we've grown organically bro and, and we want I think we want to keep it like that for a bit yeah Um, see how it goes as organic as possible and then if if, if we can we can franchise out inshallah right. so I watched this documentary on Nando's today yeah Mm. It was just on in the background. And there were some amazing um, things. But just before we get into that, Kareem is about to take a drink from his Zaha Grill Mango Lassi. <laughs> from Zaha Grill. He's finished it. Zaha Grill. Available at Zaha Grill, Theobald's Road. Um, 37. Uh, 37, Theobald's Road in uh, Holborn. Holborn. Zaharagrill.com If you're ever in Holborn Zaharagrill.com Dot com <laughs> okay, But it's said, currently closed You said What would I like to say to um, Lama here Yeah I have a question actually You have a question for Lama? It seems like they're a US viewer Yeah I would like to know How much they can relate to Freshly Grounded Being that it's a British you know, and it's, it's based in London and all of that stuff. How much they can relate to that, being that they seem to be from the US. And if there's anything um, that we don't seem to be hitting. Does that make sense? Yeah. It'd be interesting if they let us know. Mm. That's a very cream question. Where, 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 where are your most um, viewers from? Uh, apart London. from UK? Apart from, apart from London. Canada. Really? And you, why? UK, Canada, and then... It's, it's, still it's, the same. it's US and Canada, yeah. Oh, US I think it's US, actually. Well, really? It used to be Canada, it used to yeah. be more. Yeah. Mm. Canada, we've got a big audience in Canada. That's amazing. It's fine enough. 
Bro, what's happening with the you? You were meant to come do a made halal at Sahabul, and you, then you didn't. Yeah, come. do you know what happened with that, bro? No, because you didn't tell me. Go on. What? Happened I was looking forward to that. What happened, Cream? Oh yeah, Ma- my content guy. Made halal at Zaha Grill. I think was it was it when you was just looking for? No, no, no. We were gonna do it because we still want to do it. We want to do this episode of Made Halal where like they make a Zaha Grill food. Okay. And he recreates it. Nice. And all he gets, he, he doesn't get the ingredients or anything. So he has to recreate that same taste, the same thing. And all mm, he gets mm, is, mm, 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 mm. um, where he get, he does it in the kitchen. That sounds sick. Yeah. Uh-huh. But it'd be good. Yeah, that sounds I thought amazing. I would be nice that like, he goes in there, he tries the food. And he's like, you know, he eats it in a Yusuf way, like where he's like, hmm. It needs a bit more acidity, paprika. but... Yeah, yeah, he needs more acidity and stuff. Anyway, <laughs> the reason <laughs> the reason that it didn't happen is because... I mean, why now? The logistics can be tough because of this lockdown situation and stuff. I mean, it was before the lockdown, so let's take that excuse out. Okay, and then lockdown the happened. Stuff. Huh? Then lockdown happened. Not before that. Not before the Wednesday you were meant to come. Oh, really? Nah. I can't remember. We just didn't turn up. There's an issue with the cheesecake. There was like, basically a lot of people wanted more episodes of Made Halal where he's actually making food that's not halal. Yeah, makes sense. Because we started making some food that was like already halal. Like we got yeah. a cheesecake episode sitting there sick, but it's not, we, it's, we need to do a few more episodes of like <coughs> things that are haram, making them halal so that the brand will made it halal. And every now and again, they're chucking it, just him cooking something nice, which like he- Still halal. Which is still halal. Yeah, mm. but- we're trying to like that's what the people wanted, isn't it? So anyway, yeah. <coughs> I was going to speak about this Nanda's episode before. Oh, okay, so 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 late. Oh, Lama replied to you. Really? No, no, she didn't. So Lama, Kareem asked um, the uh, how much being someone from the US, how much you actually, uh, how much you feel like you relate to the UK, uh, to fresh Ghana, considering it's like we speak, I don't know, something like that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Cream, you know our um, UK, uh, our friend in the US. Yeah, I had a meeting with him today. You know that. Yeah, yeah how'd that go? Right, went really well. Bro, I love the email. Oh, bro, he went. You, you, it w- was it even better? Oh, it was amazing. Uh, sick. I'll tell you about your camera shot. I'm gutted that I missed it. <laughs> 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 okay, so anyway, I was actually talking about you on, on Nando's. Yeah, <clears throat> some sick <laughs> stuff found out. So basically, um. There's so many things. So did you know Nando's was... Do you know where Nando started? Let's do Nando's quiz. Country-wise. You, you know, mm. innit? I think so, yeah. Yeah, go on, say Country-wise. Go on. South Africa? Yeah, mm. that's correct. Nando started in South Africa. And um, so what happened... It was started by two guys, Fernando and someone else, yeah? And obviously that's why it's called Nando's, because Fernando's yes. named it. <coughs> and Fernando is Portuguese. And so that's why the Piri Piri kind of vibe went really well. Then they was looking for a market to bring it to. Because you know um, Nando's is UK's most favourite restaurant. And also it's best, it's biggest market is in the UK or something like that. They've got really? like 400 restaurants in the UK. Damn. So it's like a full on UK culture thing now. Yeah? Mm. So um, they was in South Africa and then they brought it over to here. And they brought it here and first it didn't do well because it was here as a fast food chain. But then they turned into what it is now. Also... Um, some other interesting facts about Nando's, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to remember what there was some sick facts about it on this thing. Ah, oh, a super chat. I like the way this guy used it. He used it to ask us a question. Oh, sick. We got a, tr- a super chat from Prince Malik. So first of all... It was, it was a laugh, <laughs> mate. It was a laugh, mate. <laughs> Uh, Prince Malik, uh, four pound ninety nine. Thank you so much, Prince uh, Malik, for support. Prince Malik one for supporting the podcast. Uh, it means so much uh, that you support the podcast. And you used um, Super Chat to ask questions. Let's answer that question. The question is uh, one. Oh no, the question is biggest inspiration to you guys. <laughs> what happened to you? I'm scared. You're to flying me. back. No, I accidentally hit this and uh, I <clears throat> scared myself. Prince Malik asks. Um, uh, biggest inspiration to you guys which famous person do you guys relate to the most also Faisal please speak Urdu for at least two minutes mm. love what you do I can't you have to, not you have two to. minutes bro bro he gave you a super nah. something super bro. something supercharge bro do you think I can be Su- bored super <laughs> 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 no joking uh, bro I can't speak Urdu for two minutes bro you can, you I'm can. trying to speak Urdu for, to Zakaria but it's failing <clears throat> what do you want me to say in Urdu 
You have a conversation with me, Urdu? No. Yeah. Only is, Eli, only is Urdu is level 100. No, it's not. Guys, yeah. It's absolutely Don't not. even try it. No chance, Akhi. TK. Huh? TK. All right, guys, Prince's question. Uh, biggest inspiration to you guys. Which famous person do you relate to the most? Kareem, I'm going to begin with you. Wow. Nah, bro. I have, a a zero, one, I have no answer for none of them. Yeah. Bro, none. Man, get a super chat, bro. I know, man. I'm trying. Akhi. <laughs> Right, Queen, um, only you go first. Do I relate to If her? you have to give an answer, so even if you didn't, even if you don't really have someone. Fa- face of Chowdhury. No, bro. I'm you not famous. famous. Go on. A celebrity, proper A list. I have no idea who I can relate to. A celebrity. I feel like, I feel like you would have an answer for this. Yeah. Am I wrong? But. Okay. Just talk about a personality, because obviously. I'm going to say refine it down to a personality trait. So, like, you might say that even though you don't agree with, like, even though you don't agree with um, Jeff Bezos yeah. for so many things, yeah. you resonate with the way he does business. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I so, let's refine the question now. Because, obviously, if you're talking about famous, famous personality, like, the only people who we really take try should take our inspiration from is that the Sahaba or the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So I'm saying like, is there a trait like? Because I know you're into basketball, isn't it? NBA. So is there an, an an NBA player that's like, you know what? The way man does, like he wakes up every like his regime is that he wakes up at five a.m. every day, that kind of that kind of thing. But what did, what, what does he mean relate to though? Yeah, like as in I relate, I relate to that. That, that you that's resonate it. with it? Ah. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I'd feel more comfortable after your answer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Fine, I'll give you my answer once you, once you, once you finish that. Bite. They're definitely not my biggest inspiration, but a famous person that I, that I relate to a lot, I can't even say their name because I don't want to endorse them whatsoever. But would I, we, I'm ta- would we know? Huh? Would we know? Yeah, as in... Would Maybe not, but I'll just give the reason why I relate to them. The reason but if they're I'm that famous, would you be endorsing them really, or are they already known? No, nah, no, nah, I would. Because I would be endorsing, like you said, you know, you may not agree with everything Be- Jeff Bezos does. Fine, fine, fine. I don't even want to... All right, cool. Yeah. So I relate with their, their, the way they think and the way they... Um, the way they think of themselves, the way they can tell a story. I don't relate with that. I just look <laughs> up to that because I can't really tell a story like that. And I relate with their deepness, I guess. Mm. That's it. That's me. Okay, I, I, I don't have anything for you right now. You're going to have to go. And you have to say it in Urdu as well. Nah. He gave you a supercharge. <laughs> <laughs> a supercharge, no. Super what is it? Super chat. Super chat. I would say... I, 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 there is someone... But I can't remember, I can't think of who it is, but I know there's someone that I've heard of. Oh, I know. <coughs> I'm just going to say it, yeah? Because, um... I don't feel like I'll be endorsing this person. <laughs> this is sad, man. No, no, I'm going to give a different one. Oh, you know who? I mentioned on podcast before. Okay, it's a very specific personality trait, though. What's that sound? I was just wondering what that is. Is it that? Should I shut up? Okay, I mentioned on podcast before, yeah. Terry Crews, yeah. Mm, Now, obviously, there's 99.9% of I don't agree with, right? But it's a very specific trait because I heard his story about how he um how his dad was abusive yeah now obviously first of all, my dad is not abusive yeah? alhamdulillah i've got amazing dad yeah? but that story it, that's how it started and that's how i heard about his story and stuff yeah the thing i like about him is that he basically is a pro- is a proponent and a and a and a, and a advocate against toxic masculinity because his dad was the person who wanting to showcase masculinity through violence. And so even though he, like, he's, like, goes to the gym, he's hench and everything, he's, 
like in touch with his emotions, for example. He's not scared to like, like um, smile, have a laugh, and get along with people, um, even if it's embarrassing. Like it goes against his against like what a masculine person should be. Does that make sense? Mm. Because he had an abusive father right. who had toxic masculinity. And so for that abusive father, being a man was never having a laugh, <coughs> showing your strength through violence and stuff like that. And so if I have to like try and find a shape because I'm trying to answer the question, I'll say that specific piece, I love that because it works with like, sometimes I'm like, I might do something that I just want to like, for example, I don't know, make Zachary a laugh. Do you know what I mean? But like, uh, maybe like the stereotypical man would be like, nah, that's your son. Mm. You know what I mean? You only show, show your son one side, which mm. is the man. Like, authority. Like, authority. Mm. So they wouldn't just like, you know, do something dumb. You know what I mean? Just to make him laugh. So I think if that makes sense. Okay, All right, go on. Only you have to. Okay, I don't know, man, because I don't, I don't, I don't know much about famous people like that. I really don't know. What about uh, I'll, I'll find an answer for you because I know you so well. Yeah, you can answer for me. I'll say. I don't know. I literally don't know. What's weird, yeah? <laughs> I've never seen you speak about a famous person. Do you that crunch? Yeah, right. I can't think. I'm struggling to think of someone yeah. that I that I, I, I never hear. I, I, I never hear on you being like, oh, I can answer. Hear about my man, Kareem. Any any answer for me? You're out of focus, on Ali. Is that? You need to lean forward. Maybe, maybe it's a good thing, okay. There you go. No, do you have any answer for me? No. Do I have any answer? I don't for know. You? I don't even know. Th- I've never heard only speak about this person that I can remember. Hmm. Maybe because you're Pakistani, like a cricket, cricket, cricket player. Yeah, I can't even, I I can't even name you one cricket player right now. Uh, Shahid Afridi. Except for him. Wasim Akram. I mean, th- th- those are the Mushtaq. old ones. Something. Mushtaq something. I don't understand. I don't know, Akhi. I don't know. Mm. That's a good question, though. Yeah, Thanks for that question, good. Prince Malik1. If anybody else has a question, feel free to o- ask. Because to be honest, we're just chilling here until we finish our lessi and our chips. Kisana says that she's from the US. So Kisana, you, can you give the answer to Kareem's question? Which was, um, can you hit that question again, please? Yeah, as a US viewer, how much do you actually relate to FG content, being that it's pretty much London-based from the accent to the guests, etc. cetera? And um, what are you missing? What is one thing that you would like to see from us? <coughs> Anyone that's from the US. Or Canada. Or Canada? Or no. Or excuse Canada, me. yeah. Or Canada. What about any international place? Yeah, what that too, yeah. Person? That too, yeah. We're not we don't discriminate. <laughs> Actually, can it's you just US culture obviously is big right. and it's Yeah, you're right. You know, it seems like everyone relates to US culture somehow. Mm. You know? How do you? Because yeah. they have such a big presence. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Like the media and stuff. Can but you know what Omar said about America, I was saying Korean, yeah. <coughs> he was saying that a lot of America's like not that. <laughs> what? Don't diss America. <laughs> He's about to do that. <laughs> he just said that a lot of it is not like that as uh, that advanced. Like you will see some like broken roads with like potholes and that. Do you know what I mean? Like, ah, oh, that makes me sound so, doesn't it? Oh, I just done myself dirty again, bro. I sound so like I'm bougie. Yeah. And you, you knew it was coming as well. He warned you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his, brain, his brain said, no, I'm going to end with this. <laughs> his brain was like, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Watch. <laughs> <laughs> now, I mean, like, for example, alhamdulillah, we've become accustomed to, like, London, where there's, like, <laughs> no, I'm not even going there. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, it's lovely to see, I'm like, his brain worse. catch up with his thoughts, though, isn't it? It's like a moment of, oh, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay Let's I go to the questions I've got videos. a question for you Ship, Go on Something that just came to mind Yeah In a few years Can you see Zakaria On this podcast with you? You know I've got a picture Of him on the podcast Really? Yeah I'll show you. you don't send me nothing anymore <laughs> What's going on? That was before Zakaria changed mm. yeah. Apparently he's changed 
Hey, it's changed now, bro. Not from a better <coughs> Seriously, that, hey. In a few years, when you can now. speak, you've been faced with. Imagine, that'd, that'd be so cute. cute. Yeah, that would be cute. Look. I love him Actually, that picture is amazing. Wow. So for those viewing, um, it's a picture of me on oh this wow. end and Zakaria on the other end where the guest normally sits. And like, Achy, he's really holding the mic and everything. He's ready. Anything? You haven't seen it? Uh, I think I did, but that's amazing. That is a nice picture. Subhanallah, that's an amazing picture. He needed a haircut then, didn't he? I'm going to have to call you for to give a haircut cream. It's my pleasure, bro. Ach, he's um, changing barbers. Yeah, but I've been cutting his hair, bro. He's no, been, been I flopping. I cut his first hair with you. Oh, yeah. It's nice. Original barber act. <laughs> Did he ever come back to you? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably better <laughs> that he didn't. Bro, um, what was the question? <coughs> do I see him? Or do I? Can I imagine him being on a podcast? <coughs> um, would I would like for him to take over. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's actually a dad thing to say, isn't it? You know, I saw like good dads. What they say is like, you know, I don't want to pressure my son into something. But I'd, I'd want him to take my place. You have to pressure pressure your children into something. Not pressure like that, but to, to point them towards good, right? I think my wife would want Zachariah to like be successful, like, you know, in education and, you know, get a good degree and set himself up. Whereas I'm like, try loads of businesses, whatever, and then you go through loads of failures, and then one of them, you, that will educate you, and then one of them will be successful, in it. Mm. But I think men are more risk, uh, risk takers, I guess, generally, stereotypically. I've lied to myself. I'm no, send me that picture, please. Oh, inshallah. Inshallah. Someone said, why don't we pull a card each? Ach, yeah, I think we should leave that. that for last, but <laughs> I think we should definitely do it. Yeah, we should okay. do it. What I'm do you think? That. Yeah. I'm down for that. I'm starting to like this, especially kind of game. Yo, Lama replied to you, Cream. <laughs> Lama, Cream, Lama replied to you. Oh, really? Yeah, she said, uh, I find this podcast to be super relatable in all aspects, alhamdulillah. I believe that's why everyone enjoys your podcast. Hmm. That's a very, um, shall I tell you what, that's a very diplomatic and democratic answer, isn't it? Yeah. Lama is potentially a politician. <laughs> Lama, don't be afraid to offend. That is a very good... Uh, they went... Safe place. They give us more. Oh, oh they did? Oh, where? Oh, I'm, I haven't got it yet. When I first started watching, I thought I wouldn't connect with some of the topics since I'm from America, but I found that to be untrue. Jazakallah khair for all the hard work you guys put into this. Amazing. Jazakallah khair for that feedback. That is now qualitative feedback well, yeah, call that we can put on our pitch Salam. deck. <laughs> you see what I said? Yeah. Uh, uh, F says... What inspired Freshly Grounded set design is very unique, Allah Um How did it start, Faisal? What was the first thing you did? The first thing I bought for the set? No, what was the first thing you did for the set, for the studio? I can't remember. I bet he blacked out the wall. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, was gonna, I, w- I would have yeah. guessed that. I, 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 yeah. I've also done set design for a few... Um, uh, like YouTube channels and stuff now. The first thing I've always done every time I go into their sets is I've bla- I blacked out their walls. <laughs> it just looks nice, but it's got some depth to it. Um, I think um, the set came together by like, like for example, this shelf is like a, s- a scrap shelf that feed source were throwing out, wasn't it? As I think this one was as well. Both of them were. Really? Yeah, mm-hmm. bro. And I was like, I don't dash it, bro. I can use it as a set thing. <laughs> I don't know, man. The, the only Not thing bad. that like was my idea was, so my idea was this on-air thing. Um, the Spotify plaque and the, the fake number plate. Everything else is just kind of by accident. I just want, do you know what I wanted to create? I wanted to create like a nice vibe that was like a homely vibe that was like cozy. And I think we managed to achieve it. Although Kisana replied to your message as well, Kareem, about America. She said, it's pretty reliable. It's pretty reliable for me. The ac- Relatable, I think. It says reliable. Oh, 
Maybe you want to fight? Relate to what I you want to fight with it? Nah, we can stick with reliable. Let's see if you send it next time. Okay. Kisano says, it's pretty reliable for me. You're on camera, Cream, and we just got he's you saying, what? He's just, he's just beefing our, our viewers. I'm beefing face, so not your viewers. <laughs> okay. Um, Kisana <laughs> says, Very well. It's pretty reliable for me. The accent is a bit different from what I'm used to, but it seems to add to the podcast. <laughs> 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 thanks, Kis- thanks, Kisana. Why do you do me like that? And then she said, "Lol." Wow, well, it's, it's like nearly eleven o'clock. I- Ibrar said, "Can I still get a refund from my Birmingham tour ticket? Is it too late?" Of course you can. Can you just please email us, and uh, we'll locate we'll locate your order, and uh, we'll refund you your money, Habibi. Cream with that. Cream with that generosity. No, I'm joking. He's just giving, he's giving it back. Uh, eyes on hooted. Hi, hi guys. Honestly, HH wants to know about um, your gaming days. Are you a gamer? Said is our only cream gamers IEPS four slash five. Tell him. <coughs> Where did this question come from? Huh? Where did this question come from? The live they, chat. I think they can just tell from your fingers. From, from your my fingers. fingers. The thumbs. Damn, Achi. <laughs> observant viewers <coughs> what's the question my, my gaming Bro, are, you a, are gamer? you a gamer that's <laughs> all the question is are you a gamer I'd love to be I don't have time anymore though what does that mean it means that mm, do you watch Yusha Evans gaming I watched a little bit of it but I'd, uh, what does Yusha Evans game on COD yeah that's yeah. what I loved I loved that he was doing that it was amazing and he, he's got his thing um his little, what's it called? Discord, isn't it? Yeah, Discord. What's, the dis- what's the Discord? It's like a, I think it's like a chat. Yeah. But apparently Discord is like, w- it's big on the game. became really successful financially yeah. this year. Okay. Yeah, they're big. They're big. All, all games use them. Mm. A- any game that requires like you, you to communicate with someone, Discord. I thought Discord used to be like a WordPress plugin for comments. Is it really? the same company? Is it the same company, you reckon? It could be. But and it's just leveled up, innit? Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Um, yeah, answer that question. PS4, PS5. Uh, I don't have PS5. I'd love to have one, but again, I, I know if I had one, I would. I would not make the make use of it at all. Kamran says, uh, uh, "You do have time." <laughs> <laughs> you know, I didn't understand that kind of comment. <laughs> it just made sense. Subhanallah. <laughs> I don't have to respond to that. <laughs> Subhanallah, do I, I do have time. Um, no, I don't, <laughs> we don't think I do. <laughs> Subhanallah. I really don't think I do. I, I couldn't do it consistently. What if you R- made money from it? Then that's different. Different ballgame. Yeah, maybe it's different. But, you, but, then but you're I, not, I feel like you don't do your restaurant simply for the money, like you're passionate about it, isn't it? Yeah, for oh, he's sure. passionate about sniping too. You should see him. Yeah, I'm passionate about sniping. Really? Mm. Two yeah, different personalities. personalities. <laughs> Back in the day, in my mum's house, you you'd come around. We used to play COD, and then your dogs on COD used to scare me. Yeah, 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 we used to play UFC as well. Yeah, we used to love it. You loved your uh, He would love UFC. Yeah, you see him bashing away. They keep. <laughs> yeah, do you know you what it serious. is? Bro? You Putting know because the ground game was a bit complicated, and I wasn't that good at it. But I knew the buttons of the ground game. So if you know the buttons, you're playing someone who doesn't know the buttons, you'll always win. Yeah, and he wouldn't tell you the and buttons. So, and I wouldn't tell you the buttons. <laughs> <laughs> he, t- he told me how to kick and punch. Yo, so. Abdul, uh, Abdul, Jam- uh, Abdul Jamak says, Hey, I recognize the brother from Zaha Grill. Okay, I actually think I know who that is. Bro, Zaha's big, bro, Allahumma Barik. I think this Allah. brother In it, Kareem. came with his sister recently. Allahumma Barik. Yo, Yo, people recognize him Zaha. Is it? It's gone now. Okay. Um, salam alaikum, Akhir. Yeah, I think, it, I, I think I th- if I'm not mistaken, that name must be. He told me. He told he he, he told me to open up open one up in his in his area, which was. I think Nahez. I look, don't look, at, look at look at look at Anneli's memory making a comeback. Yeah, it's coming back. Yeah, it's coming back. 
Oh, it's so my nice. memory is terrible, though. It's Achim. so nice to hear, though. Is it? <laughs> Achim, my, my memory has been gone. There you go. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Achim, yeah. Bruv, your, on, your memory was a myth, bro. <laughs> For a minute. <laughs> mm. I remember now. <clears throat> Bruv, I would ask only like basic something, bro. <laughs> hey, like, bro, I'm bro. gone. I don't remember what happened five seconds ago. For him to remember the name as well. Mm. Ach, I'm very bad with names. So, Ach, well, hey, Ach, you might be getting a comment like, bro, what are you talking about? It might be the complete. <laughs> bro, complete Abdul Jamak, first of all, uh, he just replied with the name of his ends and it's not Hayes. So why don't you take another guess before I tell you what it is? Um. So first of all, your memory is still... Is it West? Is it still West? Yeah, still West. Yeah, I knew it was Westish. <laughs> Westish. Fine. Southall? Afraid not. No. Bush. Fine, fine. I wouldn't have guessed that. Really? But it was, it w- I remember it was Westish. Yeah, if you kept naming West <laughs> places in West, bro, you would have come on Bush. Yeah, I don't think I would have mentioned Bush. Actually. It's really, really <laughs> far, low far on my list. I'm not very good at the geography. Go on. Yeah, did you say anything else? Is it the same person? Uh, he said, I'm just reading. Let me just catch up. Crazy. What percent was it on? Do you remember? Oh, Kisana, bro. No. Kisana. Yeah, he's a guy. Kisana's a guy, bruv. Wow, you made a snakes. <laughs> you knew that and you didn't say anything? I, don't, I didn't recognize the name. No, you just said it. I didn't recognize the name. No, no, no. Maybe it's just a username. Wait, did someone treat him like a... Maybe I did. <laughs> That's me, bro. Is it? I said she... Oh. Been That's it. my bad, bro. But, bro, really and truly... It was a laugh, mate. It was a laugh, mate. Uh, Abdul Jamak said he wouldn't mind Southall to live in or, or, or Zaha what you uh, probably to have a Zaha mm. store yeah, well. uh, Re- Revive the Ummah says uh, congrats on 50k so happy mashallah Jazakallah khair we're actually doing a uh, video about that inshallah I just haven't had time to record it um, but we're doing a video and we're going to do- make a bit of an uh, announcement for our 50k video you guys there got that fast didn't you huh that was that quite fast in the last maybe 10 20k the last 10k was very fast yeah. last 20k was the very last fast 20k though, yeah. was relatively fast i think the last but one the first I 30 was, 30 was something. four years bro we gained we gained 20k just like since covid do you mean mm. yeah, it was much. amazing um snowball out of abdullah here. khan says beautiful episode uh, bro joe goes again that joke yeah, man. He's bro, been what's that, that joke you're bossing, Kareem? Uh, no, I don't know. Joe, whatever joke you're hearing, Kareem, tell us. Just mention it. <laughs> Abdullah Khan. Okay, Abdullah Khan says, um, uh, a beautiful episode. Any recent business books b- that you'd recommend? Anyone? Anyone any book, business books recommend? I think he's asking you because yeah, um, you, 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 you for a the guy while there, you're used to... I haven't listened to a book <laughs> since... Uh, The last time you mentioned that you was listening to it. Yeah. Book. It's been a minute. It has, actually. Yeah. Oh, no, nah, probably not even. I don't even know. Um, okay. Are you ready, yeah? Faisal, finish off the Nando story. Hassan Khan keeps asking. So for you, Hassan, I'll finally finish the Nando story. So there was all this documentary, bro. There was a few things about in the doc. They were saying that Nando's has never <laughs> or doesn't use... Um, con- conventional types of marketing like billboard and um, uh, TV adverts okay. and radio adverts uh, but they rely solely on social media because it d- performs so well for them so things like for example um, they were saying stuff like when Beyonce comes to the UK she buys £1,500 worth of Nando's um, uh, Ed Sheeran and all these kind of like and that's what's hyped it right and made it big and like Kanye when he comes to London he did like a big rant in the Nando's and it was being filmed Mm. Like one of his political things. And so Nando's has built its culture from social media and everyone posting the hashtag cheeky Nando's and all that kind of stuff. And they said that that's like worth more than any millions you could have spent Mm. on a marketing agency, basically. And they were saying stuff like in Nando's, you pay before you eat in it. And they said that that's so genius because if you pay, because who wants to end such a beautiful meal by paying money? And also... um, 
Not right. only does who wants to do it. No, 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 we'll film it, bro. Don't worry, can't. <laughs> Just pour it out. Can we pour it in, bro? There we go. There you go. Get it all out there. Yeah. Any more? No? Come on, sir. Okay. Um, and then, uh, have you got any more of that lussie, by the way? It's so nice. Yeah, something. Oh, that, you got so much there. No, I can't have that. Too much. No, I have it. No, I can't, bro. I shouldn't. I have, a, I have light cheese. Do you want light cheese? My cheat day starts in 55 minutes. Do you want, do you want light We're not going to make it that far, though, unfortunately. <laughs> I think, I think <laughs> We're all going to fall asleep. Listen to this Nando story, bro, so we can end by doing this cards thing that somebody yeah. suggested. Um, oh, someone um, mentioned, I said, does anybody have any ideas for sound bites from other episodes? And HH said, uh, when Faisal said, Faisal, you ready? Sam said, Sam said, born ready, baby. If you know the episode number for that, I'd love to grab that. That sounds good. Joe says, I can't remember. It's like a mumble, then everyone laughs. The joke that you make. I make a joke that's like a mumble. Yeah, and then we all laugh. It's probably actually just a mumble, but I don't think you guys laugh at that. So no, you don't joke. mumble, bro. You, every time you speak, you speak. I speak facts. Yeah, for yeah, your fifth facts. language, Akhi, your English is on I point. think maybe they're saying that, th I think the joke, I think we laugh at Kareem because um, he says something normal, that's not a joke, because he's Spanish and English is his fourth language. It's just so funny that he's so up to date with, um, <laughs> with English. <laughs> What? Achy, <laughs> on a level, his English is way more advanced I than know, mine. bro, he it's corrects so me, advanced. annoys me, bro. He's fourth language. <laughs> He's in England for like 18 months. Bro, I've lived in 26 years. Mama, that okay, is, um, that's amazing. Listen, yeah, then what we're saying, yeah, is... Um, so we're saying about social media marketing. Uh, paying up front, because who wants to end their meal with paying money? Also, if you're on like... If, you're, uh, uh, if you've got like your children with you and they're screaming and crying, like... You've already done the payment, like you can just cut. Do you know mm. what I mean? Stuff like that. So they're saying that's like a powerful thing about Nando's. Because mm. they're basically breaking down why Nando's has been so, so successful in the UK. So it's like all these different things. Okay. Do, you know what, do you know what other restaurant pays before you eat? Zaha. Zaha Grill. Yeah. Zaha Grill, that is where you, if you want to pay money, Zaha Grill. I was going to say, how, how rare is the paying up front thing? It's not, that, it, it's it's not that rare, bro. Right. Any not. fast food is like that, right? Pretty yeah, much. But, but, but they not fast food, yeah, obviously. Not fast so food. they're kind of. Yeah. Only, would you class yourself as fast food? <coughs> no, we, we fall under fast casual, which is like a different category. Oh, so you're so, that's so hipster. They yeah. fall under real food. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an interesting category, actually, man. It's, it's, a, it's like, it's f the food, is, the service is meant to be very fast, but the quality is meant to be like restaurant quality. Mm, mm, mm. That makes sense. So that's why it's called fast casual. Yo, um, HH has yeah. actually given us the episode number. Episode 104. Wow. Check it out. Episode 104. He's could saying, please play it for us. Could you do that now? Well, make the sound bite. Yeah. The brother is no, waiting for I the Nando make the story. Sound you can't, can you? Damn. Episode 104. I just typed in episode 104 on YouTube. Like, with that, like with that <laughs> known. Like, if you type in episode 104, it comes with a fresh guy in episode 104. <laughs> there you go. Fresh guy episode 104. <laughs> That's sick, isn't it? That is sick. Did they hear it, do you reckon? Did he give you the timestamp? He it was right, it was the first thing. Really? <laughs> yeah, we have to. Oh uh, Vol, thank you so much for HH for that. I'm gonna grab that. That is sick. Um Alright, so carrying on with the Nando story. So that was another thing, right? Another thing is like the, uh, the reason that I thought about this is because you mentioned the um that some franchises are better than others. And there's these two Nando's super fans on there who would say, who have a website where they rate every single Nando's store. Psh, and like one of them was like, oh, I've been to 270 Nando's stores around the world. And the other one's like, yeah, I've been to 253. And I talk about like all these different things. And um, Nando's is quite a special place in my heart, actually. What is happening? No, 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 just for my childhood and stuff. We always used to go to Nando's, actually. Like, my dad used to take us to Park Nando's. And other Nando's, South Harrow. Hmm. We used to go to Park and South Harrow Nando's because they're both the two halal ones in West. Anyway. Um, uh, oh, there was something else, bruv. Oh, the black card. 
Mm. So Nando's neither confirm nor deny that they have black cards. You know that. And that's where they play the whole marketing off of. So they have a section on their website called Nando's Black Card. And the whole section is like, does it exist? We don't know. And all this kind of really? stuff. Apparently, yeah. What does that mean? What? So the Nando's Black Card is a, a card that um, a celebrity, if, uh, some celebrities have. Mm. And um, they get, uh, with that card, they get free Nando's for an entire year. Mm. However much they want every time they go. And one rapper on there said that he had the black card for a year. Uh, they gave it to him and when he went on tour he'd buy loads of Nando's for loads of homeless people because you can buy as much as you want and he used to hand it out um, but uh, so but apparently one of the rules of the black card is that you're, if you're, you can't ask for it if you ever ask for it you won't get it hmm. and, you, and surely you must have to promote it right? Somehow. no I don't think so I really? Think, yeah it's just like I don't know what you have to do because that guy who had the black card like I had never heard of him in my life his name was his name was bipolar um he's like bipolar color or something was his name have you ever heard that rapper in your whole life mm. exactly so um so i don't think you have to be mad famous <laughs> <laughs> um okay some hh said another sound is episode 55 17 seconds in let's we listen to that episode 55 17. I need to write these. Let me screenshot these because I wasn't going to forget. Uh, episode 8, 5, 7 seconds in. And the other one was episode 104. Um, uh, I, I sometimes randomly say this out in the loud in the car. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, episode uh, 55, <laughs> uh, 17 seconds. Assalamu alaikum, guys. Welcome to Freshly Grounded. This is episode 55. This episode was shot in Gambia. He asked me to discuss um, a lot of stuff that I don't think has ever been discussed with him kind of uh, in any interviews it's before. It's uh, in any interviews before. You ready? Um, we speak about uh, the, the, the fitting involved. That's episode 55, bro. Oh, 85. I was thinking. Go, go, go. I can't see nothing. 17 seconds. <laughs> Sound back in the building, back in the building, back in the building, yeah. Did you turn the heating off? It's getting hot in it. Assalamu alaikum, guys. What? Hold on a second. What's that voice that I'm hearing? Yeah, yeah. Is that That's big? Yeah. Assalamu alaikum, guys. Is that big man, big man sound back in the building, back in the building, back in the building, yeah? Seems to be, yeah. Yeah, we'll grab that. We'll grab that. We need some sound bites. I mean, more than yeah, a bit of a lad, a bit of a lad, and it was, it was a laugh, mate. <laughs> it was a laugh, mate. <laughs> okay, um, uh, okay. Let's just read these questions, and then we'll do the card, and then we'll end the podcast because it's been almost three hours. Um, uh, Kisana said, "I've put this before, but I'm curious to hear your thoughts. I should really read the question before I put it up, flag it up on the screen because I don't know what it's about to say." <coughs> Oh, about you guys making out fresh around guard game and charging one time fee for the app. I, 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 we, so we've thought about the whole app idea and we've had some really generous developers actually um, st come forward and say, I'd love to create the app uh, for the fresh around card game. Um, so one of, the, one of the things that we love about the card game is that it's a physical card game. And the reason is, is because it be is, it, it, if you've played the card game, it's a whole element in itself. The way they feel... We put a lot of time and we've done so many tests and, and Kareem has been so like um, uh, specific about the way the cards should slide off the hand and all that kind of stuff. And it's, it's, it, it, we're, we're trying to make it a masterpiece in itself. That it's a table piece that adds to the thing. When you pick up your device, we actually want people to leave their devices for, for a bit and actually escape from their device, from the, from their device and, and become real. So yes, while you're right, and perhaps something that we may implement in the future. Right now, um, we actually want people to 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 actually zone out of the internet and open up and have real life conversations and with a physical deck of cards, physical questions. Um, and we think that adds to because the freshly grind card game is not meant to be a card game. It's meant to be uh, you're meant to be able to with that. As long as you have that deck of cards, you can create an environment. You can create a safe space. Um, and those those cards are a, a, an integral part of that. So I really appreciate that. But um, that's the reason why we've tried to stick to it being a, a physical card. 
um, game. Uh, anything you'd want to add to that, Kareem? No, you nailed it. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, like it's a culture, right? Yeah. Like that, that's maybe trying to be built here. We'll never say never, but right now we're focused on, on this. Yeah. Okay, so let's do it, guys. Let's um, so pick a random card. Kareem, you might need to go get the deck. Just some there, no? Right down the left. Here, these. Yeah. Should be here. yeah, all of those. Okay. It's quite a few. Because these are, th this is not, these are like, um, I think like we were testing out a different material. So these aren't the official cards that people buy. Oh, so the but for the camera, strange. they look exactly the same. No, the cameras, they're the same. But also, there's not 75 cards. As you can see, there's about, th how many cards would you say that is? Probably about 200, isn't it? No. No, I wouldn't. 120. No, 100. 100 cards. Yeah, so there's a bit extra here. I don't know why. Okay. Oh, someone said. Are you going to fix the website version? The website version. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, are you guys ready? <coughs> um, who's going first? Picking or answering? Answering. I'm, I'm going to do the picking. Kareem. Kareem. Yeah, why not? Random card yet? Yeah. No. Do you want to do one? But th this one. This one's about me. Mm -hmm. So should we do like a it's one? My fault. Huh? It's not my fault that it's about you. I feel like the question should be like not one that's about me because I'm gonna pick all of them. It was what would you think the hardest part of my childhood was? Um, oh, another one about me. Okay, here we go. Mm. I can't do it, but it's hard because I'm I'm trying to. It's hard for me to pick these questions, bro, because Should I, pick it? I know Kareem and I also know the qu questions. Yeah, I mean, you know Kareem probably better than me. Oh, yeah, you pick it, bro. It's not working for me. <coughs> I'll pick anyone now. If he if it's about you, it's fine. <laughs> As in just random or should, can I can I flick through it a little bit or not? It's your choice to be honest, but random I'd say random maybe. Because the person's they pull a card each. Okay. Let's randomify it. A little bit. <coughs> where's the, where's the waters? Can you just dash me about the water? <coughs> Tell me something about your father that you didn't appreciate until you became older. <coughs> There's many things. Um <coughs> one of them is how how soft he is. He's very soft. And his emotions are so cute. Literally. <laughs> yeah. That's that's, that's one amazing. of them. That's part of enough. Um Yeah, because he's a dad, so you know, mm -hmm. you you he would shout at you and he would be, you know, a little bit grumpy and this and that, but he's very soft and his emotions are, are very cute. And if you, if you just observe him enough, they show and they're there. And he is very loving, even though he would never ask for love, <laughs> you know, and he, um, he needs that love as well. Yeah, that's one. Why Sorry. do you think he doesn't ask for love? Is it because he's like... Um, is it because he's like a, a typical Arab, Arab da, like stereotypical Arab dad? Mm. Not saying that's what he's like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I don't even feel comfortable saying that he's like a typical this or that because, because it doesn't do him justice because it's, it's, he's his own way. But like, I'd have to sit here and describe him for a long time to really do him justice. But yeah, he, he doesn't necessarily, he do, definitely <coughs> doesn't necessarily ask for love uh his way of showing love is 
I think his biggest way of showing love is um he grafts bro. He he works hard. Muhammad Badik. He's mm-hmm. he always has. Carpenter, isn't it? Yeah. He always has. So humble as well, man. So humble. Are you trying to bring him over to do some Zaha's? Good so work. Yeah. Yeah, he'd love it, bro. Okay, yeah. Bro, love it. you know how yeah, much we it. paid for this walk? Yeah. It would your dad have done cheaper? <laughs> 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 um, no, I don't know, man. But your dad sounds a lot like um, what I feel like I'm discovering about my dad now. Mm. Because I always saw my dad similar to your dad, right? Mm. Go after. Um, like I've met your dad. So when I saw your dad, he seemed lo- a bit like mine. Mm. And now that my dad's getting older, my dad's a bit more emotional in a good way. Mm. Not like erratic emotional, but just like he shows a bit more emotion and it's lovely. So I feel like um, what you're saying resonates with me now. Maybe it wouldn't have done before. True, man. It's true. It's true. And one one thing that I... I don't know if I... Yeah, I guess I guess I do appreciate it now that I didn't necessarily appreciate it before. Is I have memories of me being... I would have to guess less than eight. You'd say, why do you have memories of that? But I do. Uh, because we were living in a specific city in a specific flat i have memories of my dad coming back from uh from work at like nine eight right we're going to sleep at like nine thirty, and um i have memories of him just praying bro and i appreciate that because i know a lot of people don't have that you know a lot of people's parents don't pray and the other reason i appreciate it is because as i try to get closer to my dean I just appreciate that my dad was there you know uh, appreciate that a lot yeah that's a powerful answer man I appreciate mm. that man thank you for opening up pass the cards over to Kareem he'll pick <coughs> someone somewhat random and then um, in the meantime let me fix that your camera what did you do to the camera <coughs> really? okay, they don't want to see this Come on, okay. Yeah, I think you may have seen this question already, but I, I'm actually curious to know. What's that? It's very light-hearted, though. Is it? What, are we going for light-hearted or? Um, okay, wherever the wherever the card I came. Deep, deep yeah. Man? Nah, you're getting deep, okay. No, nah, don't do me like that. Okay, I'm not good with deep, man. Ooh, this one's interesting for you. It's not deep, deep, but it's interesting. Who makes you feel safe? <coughs> Man. And you can't say the obvious, which is Allah. That's some question, huh? It makes me feel safe. <coughs> okay, I, I would naturally have said my dad previously. But. Mm-hmm. Okay, we need to fix it at the end of the episode. It's nearly finished now. Um. Do you have an idea of what you mean by the, what it means by the term safe? Safe I from? I would love for you to interpret it in whichever really? way you want. Fine. Hmm. I have two people in my mind, but um, for different reasons. So, I'm going to say my mama. Okay. Really? Hmm. I wouldn't have thought you would have said that. Mm. Who would you have thought? Would you would you have said a friend? No, it's not that I would have thought about someone, but 
knowing what you're like, um, I feel like you you take on the role of like a uh, someone who holds responsibility, mm. like a protector. And so I would have thought you see more like yourself as you being the one who p- keeps your mum safe because you f- yeah, you sure. like that responsibility. <coughs> no, for sure. Of looking sure after you're people. Right. You're right. That, that 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 is the case. It goes both um, ways, though. Yeah. The way the way I'm I'm thinking of it is. Um, Emotionally, I guess because when when you think about or when I think <coughs> about if it if it, if I was in a really bad situation, which I have been in before, and I wanted to speak to you or I wanted to s- explain something to someone, I would feel the safer to do it with my mum. Mm. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. So it's that kind of homely feeling that you have. Mm. Um, but, but if I was to interpret the word safe in a different way, I could s- I could give you sim- different answers. Um, for example, I could name my teacher. I could say Sheikh Yahya makes me feel safe, because in a, an element of, of it, he does make me feel very safe in terms of my religion, right? If if I have questions, if I have, if I need to seek advice, I speak to Sheikh Yahya first. So in th- from that aspect, he makes me feel very safe, and I I, tr- I trust his advice. Does that make sense? Mm. Um, if I was to. If I was to say uh, what makes me feel safe in terms of harm, I say my brother. And even though my, my, me and my brother's relationship ha- isn't like the closest um, in terms of siblings, but I know for a fact that he's extremely loving, um, he's extremely hardworking. Even though he he's not very emotional, he, d- he he doesn't show much emotion at all. But I know when when p- if push comes to shove, like you know, you got yeah. your back. Yeah. Um, <coughs> Yeah, man. Depending on how I inter- in- interpret that word, I, I can give you several different answers. And I st- I've still got more that I can give. But yeah, I would say that would be my base answer. That's powerful, man. Yeah, it's interesting to see how people interpret their questions because you're right, there's loads of different ways of interpreting the questions. But some of these ones, mm. like, like maybe that one, it's like we almost wanted to... We wanted the person to answer it how they want to answer it, ha- uh, interpret it how they want to mm. interpret it, you know? And at different times, we wanted the class to be something that you could play over and over again. At different times in your life, it means something different. And there's 76 cards for a reason, bro. You can't go for 76 cards in one mm. game, you know what I mean, one session. Mm. So you get different questions and stuff. You know you what, actually? Like, even even if you flick through the cards, this is, it. I'm just al- almost realizing now, even if you just, if you flick through the cards, you don't the an- you don't really answer the question until you actually get asked the question and yeah. you and you put that yourself in that mind frame to answer. Does yeah, that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Then you start thinking deep about it. It's you want to do the question just It's not a quick question. It's not a quick answer. Not, and it's it's not like oh if you've read all the cards the, the game's ruined for you. That's yeah, what, yeah, is yeah. what I'm trying to say. Until you really try to answer it. Subhanallah. Who's left? Are you left? Yeah. Do you want to ask him? Do you want to ask? You can, you can do it as well. Faisal. Yeah. What's stopping you from taking that big step in life? Um, well, then, obviously, first I'd have to think about what that big step is. <coughs> you know, when I think about big step in life, if I'm being honest, cause I want to give an answer where I'm like self-reflective and I say, my patience, my lack of patience and stuff like that. But if I'm being honest, which is um, what I would like to do, and also, uh, therefore, sometimes it's, there's a boring answer um, because it's what, re- what what relates to you at that time. And I think that big step in my life, I feel like you know what it is. And it's time that's stopping me from doing that. But I'm not worried about that because I need that time. And also, I'm... I'm interested to see what Allah will make happen in that time. Do you know what I mean? And there's nothing I can do to speed that big step up because um like it's not possible to for that for that to happen now. So I'm happy, I'm content. I'm content with Allah's Qadr. But I'm excited to see between now and that step what's planned. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like between now and that step, there's a test for me as well. Are you going to work hard? Are you going to work for it? Etc. 
I got a question for you guys before we, we're going to round up now, but I got a question. Yeah. Do you remember your happiest memory? Or only do you remember what like what made you the happiest? I'm, and I'm I'm talking happiness like where you feel elated even for mm. a few seconds like like your heart is happy you're just happy like you forget you're even being watched you like if someone caught that moment on camera you'd be like wow but man doesn't even know that before watching like he just oh, like overwhelmed with elation. Do you remember that? Or a f- or any time you've even felt that? It doesn't have to be the happiest. Mm, that's, that's, that's a tough one, actually, because <coughs> I don't remember many, many times that I was I felt elated or, you know, su- supremely happy. Um, but but there, there was one, one moment that does come to mind. But not because of what it was, but because of what it meant to some, what it could mean to someone else. And it was when I got my grade for uni. And because I knew that my dad would be proud of me. When you got your grade, at, like your final uni yeah. grade, yeah. Because I knew my dad was would be first, proud of me. If anybody, if anyone wanted to know, he got a first I in have to say that, you know. finance. <laughs> you got a what? A first. A who? <coughs> first <coughs> <class> anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> because number one, I wasn't expecting it, right? And I was, I was extremely certain I would, I wouldn't get it. Um, and when I did, because of. Because I, uh, because I know the struggles that I went through during sixth form and then like the start of uni and then junior uni, that meant so much to me because I knew that it would mean a lot to my dad. Does that make sense? Mm. Because it would make him proud because he, it was something that he he would have he would have liked and he was quite quite unwell at that time. So that w- that made me very. I don't know if happiness or, or you know being elated is is the right word for it, but it made me feel like really satisfied that you know me and my dad is proud of me. That makes sense. Yeah. What about you, Kareem? I don't want to be unjust towards other memories that mm. sadly I just don't remember. Yeah. yeah. Or at Me least too, I ca- I at least I can't think of right now. Yeah. But I think um my happiest memory right now is the moment where the imam was talking and my wife became halal for me mm. yeah, that's and cool. it was surreal i did not know what happened yeah that's powerful that's amazing yeah that's big yeah that's amazing my one's so dead (laughs) (laughs) but i can't lie it's the happiest moment i've ever remembered my whole life i can't remember ever being this happy i was six years old yeah and (laughs) 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 i mean serious but but i I haven't felt elation as an adult like that because as an adult like only saying that you you start controlling your emotions you don't let your emotions go that far you know what I mean? Okay, was, was it was it when you clocked that you should protect your um, socks by wearing? <laughs> <laughs> but I was six, yeah, and I don't remember much from being that young. But I remember when I was six, Achi, and my dad had bought me my dream mm. bike. Oh, it was a silver BMX, my first ever bike. Mm. My dream, bro. Bro. You could get me a Lamborghini now and it wouldn't match the feeling I had then. I was six years old. I woke up, I got out of bed. Actually, even as I'm explaining to you, I'm starting to feel happy. Like, I'm I'm getting tingles, bro. Mm. I woke up out of bed. We had a humble little flat, yeah? Two-bedroom flat. My mum and dad had three kids at the time. So three of us were sharing one one room in it. Me, my brother, and my sister. I woke up like a normal day and that's why I felt even happier. I woke up earlier. I, I'm tired. You like walking you in your pajamas, your little kid in it. And I think even now it makes me even happy to think back in it because normally when I tell the story, I don't feel that like because I just remember my happiness. But now, now I'm thinking about Zakaria. Mm. You know what I mean? I want to give that happiness to him. 
And my dad probably doesn't know how happy I was. Like for him, it's probably like, oh yeah, like Faisal wants his bike. Like, we'll get it. Bro, it's probably minor, bro. Like now I see how much a bike costs. How much a bike costs, bro? Like a kid's bike, maybe a sick one might cost a hundred pound. A sick one. But really what, 60 pound, 80 pound? You know what I mean? I don't know. I have not bought a bike yet for Zakaria. But I know for me, if, if Zakaria wants a bike, bro, and it's 60, 80 quid, bro, like alhamdulillah, we're in a situation where I can get him the bike. You know what I mean? So and my dad was probably in that situation. It probably wasn't a graft for him. Probably just a case of going there paying for the bike. But obviously, as a kid, you don't value things based on money. You value them how much you need, want them in it. So actually, this is my dream bike, bro. Dream bike, BMX, silver. Oh, I remember everything back. So I wake up now, pajamas, tired, regular. I was walking through the corridor. <laughs> <laughs> walk into the living room now, and I, I just see the bike. And I'm like, and I knew it was for me instantly. And I'm like, the shot, I'm just so happy, bro. The happiest I've ever felt in my entire life. I promise, bro. I don't think, I can't imagine that I'll ever go through a feeling of happiness like that again in my life. And it's so crazy because there are things that have made me happier. The birth of Zachariah, actually. The birth of my son, actually, made me mm. happier than that BMX. Mm. And it's not, up, but it's about, but I'm talking about the innocent six-year-old boy who got that bike. That and that six-year-old boy was able was able to feel that emotion at one hundred percent. When I when Zachary was born, I was the happiest I've ever been. But I wasn't. I, I couldn't feel that happiness at one hundred percent. I wasn't allowed to. Why? Because I'm an adult. I'm a man. I have to think about things. How is my wife doing? How is she coping? Is Zachary going to be all right? Like there's other stresses. So I was happiest. It was the happiest moment. Mm. The happiest moment of my life is obviously Zachary being born. But that wasn't the moment that I, that I felt one hundred percent happiness because I never. I can't. I can't. I, I don't think I don't, in adulthood I'm, I'm allowed to anymore. I can't. It's not possible. It was the purest form of it's happiness. It's the purest form of happiness, bro. I felt, I experienced that day 100% of happiness. SubhanAllah. I, you couldn't, nothing, like, I was so happy, bro. I, I got my dream bike. I got, I remember I was just, I got on it. And no one knew, like, I know you can't put that into words, bro. I was so happy. Okay, sounds so good. I kind of want this bike. <laughs> uh, it bike sounds good. <laughs> but, but, like, it's just how bad you want something. And that's why I feel like I want to make childhood special for Zakaria. Because now that I'm not in childhood, I I miss being able to feel happy at 100%. Because you ain't got stress by nothing. Yeah. Even if your parents struggle, you don't know. <laughs> okay, yeah. now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, we was living in a two-bedroom flat. Like, my parents had one bedroom. Us, all us kids was in the other one. Like, maybe it was a graph. Like, obviously, now you hear stories. You hear about, oh, when you was little, we had to do this, we had to do that. So, yeah, it was a graph. But I didn't know that. I, I'm happy. I'm trying to get everything. My dad always wanted us to have the best of everything. You know what I mean? Mm. And so he'd work hard so that we can. And for us, the best of something was like, it didn't mean it was expensive. Like another one of my happiest moments was when my, my granddad gave us his overhead projector. You know what I mean? And we were just up all night writing things on overhead projector sheets and shining them on the wall. <laughs> you know what I mean, bro? You, wait, you can't experience that no more, bro. Sure. So I want Zachary to like, I want to let him freely experience all of that. Because he's not going to experience that, bro. When you, get, you know people are going to say when you become an adult, like you, but it's true, bro. When you become an adult, <laughs> someone goes, I anticipated the birth of his child. I didn't anticipate the bike. <laughs> <laughs> the adult doesn't, it, the adult doesn't, it's just sad, bro. Because it's like, you know, you talk about that with hadith, like your youth before your old age. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. We already passed certain parts of it, but what what can we do? We can't take that back now. We can remember it, but what we can do is we can enjoy the things that we can enjoy now. That when we're fifty, we can we can't we say we, we at fifty we say, bro. When I was twenty six, I used to be able to experience. I used to be able to spring up out of bed. Mm. I used to be able to like. We did Hajj one year and it was effortless. All of mm. these things, but we can move all of our limbs still fast, bro. We can still have mm. fast twitch muscle. We're young. So maybe as much as I feel sad that I don't have that childhood no more where I can just wake up and not care in the world, bro. Power Rangers. Loved it. You know what I mean? Mm. Even though we don't have that no more, we can reflect on it. We do have something now. Bro, us three sitting here just having a nap. How beautiful mm. is that? Well, there might be a time, bro, when... 
out of us, we only one of us are still alive anymore. Mm-hmm. And we'll go raw up. I used to just, ch- I, I, I chatted for three hours with about nothing. <laughs> we were just drinking less, you having a chat. You know what I mean? So, so we got to live in the moment, but it's so hard. How hard is it to live in the moment, Kareem? You know what I mean? How do you live in the moment? I, ca- I can't live in the moment. I, one of my biggest struggles is living in the moment. How? How do you live in the moment when you know you got so much going on? You know what I mean? You know, the, the, that, that purest form of happiness that you said you, all you can do now is remember. It just makes me think of Jannah. Mm. If you can remember that and how much you want it back. Mm. It makes you look forward to something, isn't it? Yeah, mm. that's powerful. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to ruin the moment. I don't want to. I don't want to open up this box. But you're saying you're saying you want Zakaria to experience all those things. The first thing that comes to my head as a threat to that is nowadays technology and stuff mm. i'm genuinely scared you know that mm. not even kidding kids being on social media from a very mm. young age comparing themselves already mm. it was enough for you to compare yourself to whoever was on your grade that had the p and you didn't but it's different but now you go home and you're still on th- on that screen and stuff that's scary it's fine, Yeah, scary man. They won't res. They might not like appreciate. They may not be happy with the overhead projectors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the all the endorphins and all the everything, all the dopamine that they're feeling from all these abs and stuff. You think they're gonna be happy with the overhead projector? Mm. <laughs> it's true. Bro. I hope so, because that. <laughs> nah, bro, it's true, bro. That's pure, man. It's true. That's pure. I think that sounds so amazing, though. That overhead projector. Are you being up all night drawing stuff? <laughs> throwing on the wall. Uh, How that cute was is that? That's for you, bro. So Me, uh, bro. <laughs> we just felt like we felt like adults, bro. Overhead projector. My granddad's overhead projector, bro. He just gave it to us. We was sh- uh, just writing things on sheets of you know those clear sheets. Mm. We had an OHP pen, <laughs> so you can write on it. And rub it. But we was writing <laughs> on the massive wall in the living room, bro. Anything we'd write, it would show up on the whole wall. <laughs> We are writing things, we like write scripts, write like songs, write anything, bro. Just throw it up on the wall. Up, I, I remember I was up all night because my mum was sleeping. We was up later than her. She must have just gone, forget these kids, but they can put themselves to bed today. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm going to sleep. Mad, bro. Yeah, man's mad. Boys, do you know what? Yeah, I'm so unprepared for my class on Sunday. Same. I sacrifice the evening of this week, bro. Same, same, same. No, mm, I don't even have an excuse right now. I don't even know if class is going to happen. Mm. If it doesn't happen, it's probably going to happen online anyway, isn't it? Mm. Yes, yeah, so it doesn't mean you can't prepare. You have to prepare. Um, anyway. Guys... Thank you so much for um, spending time with us on this stream. I uh, just want to say before we dog off, um, thank you to every single person who has donated and um, supported the stream, supported podcast uh, with a super chat this evening. Um, we've seen ranges of super chat from £4.99 to $200 and we appreciate every single one. Um, the fact that you guys support Fresh to and our, our, our mission and you know our culture and what we're trying to trying to create uh, it really means a lot, and um, and we've enjoyed this stream so much. You know, it's three hours, three and a half hours <laughs> went by like so quickly for us. Um, if you want to see this kind of thing more often, let us know. If we do um, create this more often, it will be like probably additional, or we'll try and do it additional to the episode, so that um, I imagine that this the kind of audience that would like a live stream is probably a different kind of audience to the one. Um, that 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 likes just the informative episode so we'll do our best uh inshallah to 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 get this thing going more regularly it probably at the beginning if i'm honest won't be a weekly thing it's very hard with everyone's timings and stuff <clears throat> but even if at first we could just start doing this a bit more on a regular basis 
that'd be really cool. So uh, let us know in the comments if that's what you would like to see. With that being said, Jazakallah Khairan for joining us today. And we'll see you on the next week's episode, which is a very special episode, by the way. Next week's episode is very, very cool, inshallah, that we have planned. We'll see you then. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.